I'm just allow the microphone. Press this, and that goes off. We should be we we should be good here this time. Hello, internet machines. We are broadcasting live. I'm walking away from James as he has it playing on his stream. Broadcasting from Murray Bridge, South Australia. It's me, Drumzilla. We're in a we're in a bit of a dilly of a pickle or a bit of a fluff, a bit of a huff. Took a little while to get this going. I'll explain why in a moment. But first of all, this is Drumzilla. How you doing, James? Hi, everybody. <laughs> in internet tech land. Yeah, yeah. We had this. Um, I don't want to call it. Just a tech issue. Just a tech issue. Yeah. Minor tech issue. A minor one. One that I've never encountered before, and I still don't really know what happened, except except to say that stopping everything and starting it all again fixed it without doing anything else. So we're a little behind. Our plan is to cruise around. Your town, this is his town. It's east side of Murray Bridge. Yeah. So across the river, as they say. Now, I won't be looking at chat for a little while until we get to where we're going. And when we get to where we're going, well, do you want to tell us what we got? Yeah, we've got the Master De Silla series, all one, two, and three. So we're going to do a comparison test starting from one, two, and three. We're going to regulate it, doing actual shots, like measured shots, not like so the third one ends up super strong, down on a little spot near the river. Watch the sun go down. Hell see, yeah. See some boats and some ducks and who knows whatever else you see down there at this time of the evening. We're going to cruise past the, um, I'm not sure what it's called, Wangari Sanctuary. It's just like emus and kangaroos and those who aren't in Australia might be interested in that. Heck yeah. So if you like are wild creatures of Australia and you want to see two of uh, Australia's f favourite sons getting drunk by a river, <laughs> stick around. We're going we're gonna to be here for a little while, probably till. Probably till the sun gets dark, yeah. yeah. Sun gets Beautiful dark. Beautiful day here, the breeze is just starting to die down. Yeah. Now, for those that you might be wondering, what am I doing in Adelaide or South Australia? This gentleman uh, books me to come over and do a photo shoot. Sometimes it's used to be close to once a year, but. Yeah, every year. Too, COVID, but... COVID really changed all that. And um, yeah, we worked out it's been since 2018 that I was here last. Yeah, so what we did is we grabbed the chair, put some wheels on it, and snuck right underneath COVID across <laughs> the border, through the airport, <laughs> down into Adelaide today, and took a heap of photos. Yes, and we have done our job, that's why we're doing this now. I haven't been live for a few days because we've been working, but I have done what I was here for, so now it's time to pate. Also, on another tech issue, we are walking towards a tower, so if you're wondering how we're getting signal out here in downtown Murray Bridge, we are, I already have sussed out where the towers are, but it is super windy. Like, I almost blew these off. I'm gonna put them on actually. So if we lose a bit of signal, it ain't my fault, it's the wind. Hopefully we can avoid too much wind. You feeling it? Where we're going, we're gonna be like out of the wind. So yeah, okay. Way, yeah. Bank facing wow. that way, which is where the wind's blowing, so it should be sweet. Okay. And then I will grab the chat. I mean, I can grab it while I walk, but you know, when I have a guest on the stream, I like to engage the guest, and so we won't be chatting. I will check the chat though, I'm not going to ignore you long term. And when was the last time you came down this way, James? This way here? Yeah. Oh, we do it pretty regularly. I've got a jet ski, so we um, take the jet ski down to the, this place where we're going, which is kind of like a a marina, what do you call it? Boat ramp, boat launch area. Right, right. And uh, you should just hang out there. It's a nice grass area, we take family picnics. Yeah, cool. I take my daughter past this area up here quite regularly because it's you know animals for her to see and occasionally there's a flock of pea hens and peacocks. Ah pea fowl. Ooh, is that the actual terminology? Pea fowl. And they'll you ever heard of pea fowl? Pick up the um, the peacock's feathers, but daughter loves them, yeah, they're yeah. Cut, bright coloured long feathers with the the eye on the end, the crown on the end. So, right. Yeah, we come, come through quite regularly. Getting a little dark there. That sounds cool, man. I did see a few peacock feathers around your house, like late, like yeah, in my daughter various loves areas. Them. Yeah. Quite pretty, they're very pretty. Another strange thing to note right now, it's cold. It's not summer. It's I mean, cold. it is summer, but it's cold, hey? It was 12 degrees today at one stage. That's Middle Celsius. December, in summer. Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but I tell you what. Still in, cold. In, yeah, it's still cold, exactly. In <laughs> Celsius, that's not the temperature that we normally affect or we normally have in summer at all. It should be like more than more than double that this time of year, in middle of December. Totally. At least double that. I didn't even bring jeans. I know you got jeans on. I didn't even bring jeans. I thought, no, going to South Australia in summer, 
What are you talking about? Jeans? We're sweating. We should be sweating. It's freezing. Yeah, man. It's weird, eh? Hey? Put on our internal blanket later. It's a little bit scary, actually, when... Galahs flying around here. Corellas. Flaming galahs. See, I'm bringing up chat here just now to check. I can't help myself. Here are. Let's say hello to people, at least. Um, the, the sanctuary. So these people, these people um, rescue animals hit, hit on the side of the road. Oh, yeah, all down sorts. here. All sorts, yeah. And they've got, they've got some alpacas and... Bugger now! You'll see some kangaroos. They're going, what the hell are these clowns doing? And they rescue them, um, rehabilitate them, and then they let them back go. Oh, okay. They release them back into the wild, that is, if they can. Sometimes they stay here. There's a resident um, big emu in here. He comes up and says hello. I wonder if we can see him. Oh, my God. My... My version of D-Live is too old to use. Go to the App Store. No! Oh, that's what I just had before. Seriously, D-Live? Maybe that's what it was. Maybe there's an update from somewhere along the line and didn't do it. Nah, it can't have been. No. Do I have to go? And it's a, D, it's a little app alert saying go to the App Store. I don't want to download an app while I'm IRL streaming. D-Live, you got to sort this <laughs> crap out, man. got to sort this kind of crap out. Give us the option to do it later, not default. Yeah, like, defer, yeah, defer yeah. later. So I'm going to have to download a new app version. There's Skippy in there. I'm going to do it. This one's Skippy. Skippy's wondering what the hell we're doing. Staring straight at us. There is one over there, yeah. Yeah, but it's just at this time of the afternoon they go for a feed and they're coming over to us. They're very friendly. You can feed them. Yeah? Yeah, especially the um, emus. Kangaroos, footballs, yeah, meat pies and holding cars, mate. Australia. Um, okay, so now I've got the latest DLive app. Hopefully we have a better experience. And on the chat, I see H-Man, I see Redox Bear. Hey, hey, keep it down. Yeah, I can't really see it, but I can see some names in the chat. I want to make a blanket address to the chat. Hello, welcome, good to have you. Thanks Hello. for being here. Hey, also, if you're watching off DLive, maybe you're watching on James's Facebook. Hello. Yeah, if you want to come, come on down, yeah. come on down to DLive. As much as I, I just dissed it, but if you do come down, we'll be able to see you in the chat. I am broadcasting this everywhere, so you'll be able to see it. Well, that's how I found DLive to start off with. You had a launch on, or and talked about it on YouTube, because you were doing the YouTube thing quite a bit before. Yep. And you had a tracer thing. I was like, oh, what's that about? How oh, yeah. long the DLive joined up, and it's been interesting. Lots of different stuff, not just to watch uh, Ben on, but um, watch other things as well. It's pretty interesting. All sorts of stuff. All walks of life. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Some interesting ones, the Kiwi guys and that, you know. Grimsky. Grimsky. Yeah, hey, by the way, tell us, tell me who you say you watch the, the IRL stuff on, on D-Live. Uh... <laughs> Shut Outdoors is pretty interesting. Yeah. Grimsky was funny, like the Kiwi guys and they're getting... Whoa. Hello. That's a dragon, folks. Um, dragon. I can't remember the names of the other people. I just sort of go along. If it's interesting, I'll have a watch. Well, there was, I, was one older guy who was like politically motivated and he was kind of going on a few tangents and a few rants. Rev Jim. Sorry? Rev Jim. Might have been. Yeah, Reverend Jim. Go this way. Yeah, it was yeah. something like that. Um, can't think of any of those ones. No, well, the one that stood out for me was uh, Chill Outdoors when you yeah, said Chill you Outdoors, watch him. Yeah, yeah, he was interesting, man. Isn't that cool? Like, of all the people that James caught on to from DLive, aside from watching my content, he caught on to Chill Outdoors. Like, that it's guy... Like he was fishing or something. It was, it was in the ocean. And I was like, how the hell is he streaming from that? Yeah, yeah. It's very, very admirable to get the the quality and the content that Chill does on his streams. I'm, I mean, when you mentioned you had a jet ski, he's like, oh, can you put your gear in the water? I'm yeah. like, I'm not Chill Outdoors, so... Well, if that was possible, we'd be just we'd be on the car in the car with a jet ski right now. We'd be working it out. Hey, we'd be like, how many bags do we need again? At least get seven bags and seal them up. Make sure they're really sealed tight. Well, I've actually got a little esky thing at the front, and it's got a sealed lid. It's it's got a rubber seal. Oh yeah. You fill it up with esky. It's watertight, so you can fill it up with ice and put your drinks in there and yeah. zoom along. I put lunch in there. I don't know if I'd want to put a GH5 in there and uh, all my streaming gear, but hey, man, Chill Outdoors does it, and he does it really, really well. Very uh, commendable. There comes a horse, folks. I'm kidding you not. Birds. A lot of bird life around this afternoon. Birds, kangaroos. Kangaroo. Uh, and a big fat magpie. horse on the street. Is this normal for just a horse to be yeah, cruising yeah. down? Definitely. What's this? Uh, my daughter used to do horse riding lessons just over there. Oh, yeah? Check this out. How are you guys? Hello. Dad, how are you? What's the horse's name? Uh, total Eclipse, but everyone calls him Clippy. 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 Yes. 
What a That's beauty. Do for it. Yeah, no, it is pretty good, eh? He's uh, alive to the internet. Oh, <laughs> so you Hey, there's another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Clippy and cloppy. The beauty of uh, That's cool. living in the country, eh? Total, eh? Like country life. I mean, we haven't seen a car yet. We've seen two horses. And that guy just went, what on earth was that dude doing with his camera? So if there is anyone out there watching on my Facebook, I linked it up before. We're coming up to Justin. He's a property. Oh yeah. This is motorbike ramp. He passed away last year, almost almost a year to the day, a couple of days ago, a year ago. And um, we used to come out here and ride motorbikes and thrash cars in his paddock and stuff like that. So yeah, right. Rest in peace, brother. Oh, okay. Too so young. He was by a train, man. Oh, crikey. Down at Brighton, where we were today. Struth. Funny yeah. how things like intertwine like that. So I see the launch ramps yeah, there. Yeah, his property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, his parents' property. Yeah. So we used to come and hang out here and ride motorbikes and quad bikes and drink beer, of course. Yeah. Had to. Damn. Well, sorry to hear that about Justin. Okay. But yeah. You never know what you're going to sort of see out here. Yeah, I'm loving it. Very cool. This is spot. Some hoons in here with their burnouts. Just outside of Justy's house. No, who could that be? How would that happen? These marks look like the marks on your driveway, man. <laughs> Not saying anything. Not bad enough. What are you getting at? Are you getting at that it was him? I don't know. No, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Talk. Putting two to two together and coming up with four. Yeah, well, the amount of political discussions we've had, we've uh, gone over everything in, on these last three days. Um, as just, expected. Yeah, yeah. Without going too deep into the weeds here, we had to do some... Well, I, I had to do a few things uh, COVID-wise to get interstate. And um, it's kind of strange, I thought. I'll just, I'll just go through it pretty quickly. I don't want to... Jumping through more hoops in the train poodle. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to make it too much of a big deal, but I had to get a test before I left New South Wales, 72 hours. And then I had to get a test upon arrival in South Australia. That's nothing... That's not that bad, or that's nothing untoward, but the problem was at the airport in Adelaide when I arrived, there wasn't a line for you to go into with everybody else that had arrived to get the test. You just literally got shunted out of the airport into the public. Into so the main line. Yeah, there's a line up outside the, the airport where you've got to go and get tested. With a hundred other people. Yeah, and it's long, and I'm like, I just arrived, shouldn't I go into an express line before I go into society and infect everybody? But no, you get bumped into the main line. Main line. This, yeah, and I was like, well, hang on. <laughs> and we had a job to do, so I was like, do I have to get tested now? Or, because I'm already out in suburbia or in the wild, and we just go anywhere and get a test, and sure enough. So we got a test like, Tail and Ben. Tail and Ben, we got tested. Like 10 minutes out of Murray Bridge. It's weird, hey, like... drive through. Yeah, drive through test, but... They're trying to stop people from infecting the, the society. Oh, go out there and get tested first. That's weird. Before you go out, after you go out. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about it. And by the way, negative. Twice. <laughs> Don't do <laughs> a little, little snotty. little snotty here. I was earlier on today, am I right now? Yeah? Yeah, that's weird, man. And the allergy stuff's good. But we did first day of shooting shot... Uh, well, you can list off the suburbs. Oh, I thought it was from uh, Hemiford Grove, which is out Gawler East. Then we did Charleston Community Centre, which is in Charleston, which is Adelaide Hills Way. Then today... Oh, man, we did a heap today. Started off at Prospect. No, 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 the day before we went down to... Oh, yeah, sorry, we, that, that was just one shoot. Yeah. So we took a drive down to Beachport, which is like... Southeast of South Australia. The Coorong Peninsula. Past the Coorong, yeah. Yeah, past it, yeah. Down to Beachport, which is near Robe. There's a beautiful spot down there with some uh, large nautical themed playground equipment, which is really yeah. cool. And Tom Tilbury, if you're watching on Facebook, I sussed out your restaurant, tried to get to the to the restaurant, but I thought I was in the we were in the wrong town. I thought you were in Port uh, Beachport. But Robe. But you're in Robe, yeah, yeah. but we checked it. But Not anyway. far, yeah, we were thinking about it. And then that was, yeah, that was the only shoot for the day, because it was a three hour drive to get there. Yeah. Then today we did more in three hours than we did the previous two days. Yeah, yeah, we smashed them out, hey? Yeah, Brighton, Glenelg, uh, Norwood. Camp, Camden Park, Camden Norwood, Park. or Prospect. Two in Prospect, in fact. Yeah. Uh, what else did we do today? Jetty, I dropped off your video camera, hung it over the fence, and that was lowered the, it down with the, the string. Driver, yeah. That was pretty cool. He wasn't there, so we just like 
got a little got a little MacGyver on ourselves and just pitched it over the fence. A little what was it, brick line or something? Yeah, brick line. Lowered it down. Impossible lowering it down and putting the string out so he would never know. So now, Jed, if you haven't got home yet, just be very ginger when you open up your front gate because if you open it up quick, you're going to smash your video camera. <laughs> <laughs> then we yes. went down to Glenelg, uh, ca caught up, or tried to catch up with the Strand, old crew. Uh, no one there that I know except for Frank. Um, hello, Frank. It was a past generation. That yeah. was the last generation. Yeah. It's a bit strange to. I mean, I didn't. I knew that obviously Tuss and, and John had sold, but I didn't know that there was now a second set of owners as well past that. And also, Lino's no longer there, so Lino's at uh, Caruso's. I'll go and swing by there and say good day if I can. So but yeah, he wasn't there today, you said. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, he wasn't on. So then we went across to uh, Brighton Road, not Brighton. Yep. Uh, uh, Broadway. Broadway, not Brighton. Broadway. Uh, two streets from where I used to, or one street from the pier where I used to live, or Pier Street. Which is also two streets from Jetty Road where I used to live. And we had a fine burger. Yeah, man. That was from bad. Seafaring Fools, Benny Nash and Jolski. Very, very, very good stuff. Dude, I'm, I was, what was great. It called? That was called the Dirty Bird Burger. Dirty Bird, yeah. yeah. Dirty Bird Buffalo Wings Burger. Dude, that was so, so nice. That was pretty good. Because we were talking about um, good... Uh, interesting like tangy barbecue and hot sauces and this one had like a tangy well, it had a buffalo, yeah, buffalo sauce buffalo wing sauce spicy tangy yeah it was good if you ever in Adelaide and you're down Glenelg way yeah, definitely recommend definitely it. hit seafaring fools is the name of the restaurant or cafe seafaring fools and get the dirty bird burger Dirty bird. I took a photo of it or I took a photo oh, of it. The, oh, the menu so oh, I can post menu. it next to it I probably should have got a photo of it coming out. It's like about this big. It's big, hey, it's yeah. Big. I was like, we're trying to put it in their mouth. Like. Yeah, and props to Joel for saying, he said, we, we were going to get chips and stuff, and he said, you probably won't need, like, it's big, man. Yeah, so, yeah, you, right. listen, listen to the dudes when they tell you that, because it is big. And delicious. It was amazing. So, we're heading down to what's called a Voca Dell, which is like, um, the locals here, which I don't really consider myself really a local, because I've only been back here four years, but I used to live here, I say it's where the terrorists come. Tourists? Oh, the terrorists. So they have their boats and jet skis, and so it's a big reserve with boat launching facilities and Sick. boat mooring facilities. And then off to the left of that, it goes along the river to the backwaters, and not sort of, I guess you'd call it a swamp, but it's not ugly swamp, but you think of a swamp as like, you know, some monster coming out of it. It's not quite like that. No bunyips. We might see a few bunyips, I don't know. You want to explain what a bunyip is? It's, is a that bunyip. An, that's an Aussie thing, yeah? Uh, it's a Murray Bridge thing. Marindri. Marindri <laughs> Aboriginal group. So bunyips are a monster that lives in the Murray. And if you're a bad person or you steal things or um, basically do anything wrongdoing, you get taken down the river and you're eaten by the, the bunyip monster. I think the bunyip was someone who was banished from the tribe. Right. I think that's, that's how the story goes. A bunyip. Banished in, yeah, they were banished into the river and become a monster. And they, so they use the mul 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 you want, mul you want, mul you want. So the bunyip's like the Aussie word for it, the mul you want is the Aboriginal word. Oh wow. And um, they use it to scare kids, kind of like the boogeyman. Ah, the bunyip might get you? Yeah, it's like down in the river to the bunyip. So what, you'd swim here as kids though and you weren't, weren't peak, like freaking out about the oh, bunyip? Oh, we didn't because we weren't, you know, too young when we were sort of swimming in the river. But I'm sure, you know, the indigenous tribes from many, you know, moons ago would use that as a fear factor yeah right. we're talking about that today about how fear is a great motivator yeah 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 we hit we hit all the topics folks covid was high up there but fear and public and dude i mean <laughs> stem cell research yeah we hit stem cell research Resveratrol. yeah that's the one you were talking about yeah what was the um what were we talking about with the to the cancer the cells that reproduce and then yeah that's resveratrol that was, yeah, so yeah, resveratrol yeah. is like the see, food see that, it didn't sit in with me i've already forgotten yeah. it. that was today as well the food that causes cells to replicate like so you know if you need energy you eat food cells use food and it's called resveratrol oh it's atp but resveratrol makes atp and then atp makes cells if right. your cells manufacturing systems don't have the right food well it makes dodgy cells they become cancer or tumors or skin blemishes or cause you to age yeah so the latest tech is that they're making this stuff to give you good food for your cell replication 
to live long and prosper. I can do that, come and do that. What is that, the V? No, nah, the, the, Vul the Vulcan. Live long and prosper. All oh, right. If you're a Star Trekkie, I'm not, so hence why I had to try to do that. <laughs> yeah. So we got deep into that and we came up with the solution that, what do we say, living longer would be great, but only if you're healthy. Like, and, and having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, having a good time. Life. Yeah, there's no point being like heaps, heaps old if you're not enjoying yourself. It's a bit monk on a mountaintop. I've never played. I thought it's all be like. But are they having a good time, the, the monks? I don't know if they are. They well, just... I think they do, but they probably don't know any different. Do they smile? They laugh? They chant a lot? They don't see many boobies. They don't see many boobies? They don't see much. You've I got, mean, you got to be one of them. you got to be uh, celibate. Are you really? To be a monk, you can't have... I'm pretty sure he's oh, supposed to dude. Celibate. Yeah, I just killed it for you. That's, I, yeah. I was half considering it. <laughs> so what, monks don't, don't engage? They don't... don't How do they reproduce then? Well, they don't. So they must be dying out if... It, like, that doesn't make sense, do they? Must be. The people go to be monks. There's no females there, as far as I know. There's no female monks. No. Right. I mean, that does not sound like something I'd be interested in remotely. There's actually a guy. Should be all name. female. I'd be interested if they were all female. There's a guy who went and lived with the monks for a year. They taught him a lot. They could never do it like full time. So it is kind of not boring, but very regimented. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that, man. I, I mean, I never. I guess I'd never even thought about it. You don't, yeah, you don't see pictures of female monks, do you? You know monks don't hang out in trees, right? They're, uh, they're monkeys. They're monkeys, yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Beautiful day. Isn't it, it is cracking, day. yeah. Pretty lucky to, to be in a wonderful country like Australia where it's all locked down and it's all held. Oh, it's crazy down under, don't believe. Oh, frogs are turning Australia on. Inside out. Stealing our children. You should hear this guy's Alex Jones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll get a couple of jacks in and then you'll hear it. It'll pop out. It'll... I'll tell you about the space crack. Once he gets going, it just pops out easily. Like, yeah. You you drop into that accent just to. It's just like a default one because it's got a heavy voice. So. Yeah, it comes out too easily. Classic. And I didn't actually spot the 4G tower. I did see it on the map, but I didn't. Didn't see one. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd assume it'd be down here because here's where, like during summer, during the weekends, this place swells to like 200 people. Like the boats and cars and. Do you want to just do a, a bit rate check for me? Just check that number on the back, just out of curiosity. Seven four. Seven four, dude. We've been hit, hitting seven the whole time. I'm assuming it's a good thing. That's good, yeah. If it gets down to like one, you're usually encountering a little bit of like lousiness, little bit rate issues. I know it's a little dark sometimes when we go behind the clouds, just, but. It'll all wash out. Yeah. I can see the water. Getting close. When you said master distillers, I, I, for some reason I was picturing single barrel select, but I know the ones you mean. I've They're not. different. Yeah, this, the, they came out one in a series to six, yeah. Six was there? Yeah, total well, of six. That. I've only seen the first three, so I hope you grab those. Oh wow, so you managed to get the numbers one, two, and three recently, kind of. Oh, not I wouldn't say recently, but, but this sem year, this year. That's amazing, man, because they came out long time ago. I'm assuming. Like, you, you, you're you lucky if you can find six now. You know what it was, what started it, is one of the one of the um, BWS at the other end of town, small, in the lower demographic of Murray Bridge, had it on special, like they're running it out. I didn't buy it before because it was cheap. It wasn't sorry, it wasn't cheap. It was like hundred and yeah, it was, bucks. It was a bit more expensive. Yeah. I'm, I'm not paying that for a bottle of Jack, no matter what it is. Yeah. Well, even though I will, I have. You know, <laughs> for that reason, I'm not paying it either. Here you go, take my money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was selling it for like seventy bucks. I was like, that's actually not too bad. And I saw the second one and bought that at a different place. I think I bought them from all three different like pubs in Murray Bridge. And the third one I saw. The third one was only seven hundred and fifty mil or seven hundred mil. Oh, you got leader ones, did you? The first two are. Huh. But the third one's 700, but it's the same price. Or was the same price. I mean, if you're finding any master distillers and it's not number six, you're doing well. Yeah, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, because they, they did them like sporadically and Maybe obviously it became. Be, well, probably, yeah. Wow, okay. And it began at number one and ended at number six. There's another one that's not a number, it's just like a master distiller bottle which came out before all of them. Yeah, and I've seen the master distillers single barrels. Or single yeah, barrels that... select master distillers. They're very clever with their marketing. They'll have. You know, master distillers, master distillers, single barrel, master distillers, single barrel select. Yeah, 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 yeah. They keep milking it. Yeah, it's true. It's the Jack Daniels cow. Gotta love the Jack. 
It's the, yeah, so, that's right. We're close to being here. I think we should go left here. Left here? Down there is the more commercial area. We want to find a cool There's an entrance right there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite shallow. Is that a seat there? Seat, yeah. That could be stop number one. That could be stop number one. We've got several stops along here. We can Hell yeah. Stop one, have a drink, have a look, go for more. Bit of a stagger. Yeah. Love it. Looks quite still there compared to the rest of the spot. Yeah, the last, like, Three or four days have been breezy. Like, I mean, like I remember, out. I said the the entrance to Adelaide was super rocky. Oh man. yeah, you're saying the, the flight Dude, flight in, yeah. I had the roller coaster of all roller coasters on the way in. It was plane was dropping like every oh, it dropped and then it would pick up and then drop again, drop again, drop Low again. Pressure. I mean, I, I wasn't well, I wasn't worried. I don't typically get worried while flying, but I was like, how much more of this is going to happen? Because my, my guts were like. <laughs> So here we are, Murray River. Check this, folks. Pelican over there on the... On the Look at that pelican go! Oh, pelicans. I see some guys here that come and launch their RC... Uh, what do you call them? Yachts in that here. Oh, rad. They're little RC boats and they sail them up and down through here because it's quite protected. It's quite pretty. Yeah. Look at this, folks. Are you seeing this? Always bring you to nice places. This is uh, West, oh, this is South Australia. I'm gonna say Western Australia. South Australia, folks. Enjoy it while we're here. Enjoy it while I'm here because it did, I had to, sh I had to ship a battery through the mail to get this live stream to work. So now, you might say, well, then next time, buy the, why don't you buy the battery that you can fly with? And yeah, you got a point, I'll do that. Yeah, dude, it's out of the wind too. Beautiful spot. It's on a pew. Let's park up. So I guess camera will go on bench with us, I suppose. And then I'll talk to the chat as well. Yeah, have a bit of a quick chat to chat. Who we got there? Let's have a look. I'm gonna put this down here. Oh yeah. I guess we could put the camera. Um how can we do it? Oh you got a tripod. Yeah, yeah, it's that's pretty rad, hey? Yeah. It's a tripod, but it's gonna be... Let me see if I can uh, get an appropriate angel here. I don't know if that's gonna be any good because I need to... There's nowhere to put it. I guess I'm gonna put it on the ground here. That's gonna be an upward angle. That's gonna suck the... Um, what do you think we can always sit on the grass, we don't need to sit on the bench. That's a very good point, yeah. Do you know what, man? If we sat on the ground here, that's going to be an upward angle. If we sit on the grass, yeah, yeah, let's sit on the grass, dude. Good call. Shall play bartender? Your bartender. You know what I'll do, man. If we sit on the on the ground, I'll put this in front of us. You guys won't see the uh, the water, but we will. They're not master distillers; they're legacies. Oh, your legacy editions. It's so hard. It's, they get so confused between all the different ones you get. Dude, this is uh, sharp as shit, hey. Is it? I'm oh, not. That horrible grass. Oh yeah, there's no. Definitely not sitting on that. Okay, well, you're going to have an, a strange angel here, folks. It's going to be upward. You can't tilt it, so you can see. I can it. tilt it, but it's going to be a big tilt. Love a big tilt, or, yeah, no, I'll, I'll tilt it. I'll use a bit of, a bit of extra height here. There you go to that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's not gonna stay, is it? Uh, it's gonna blow over. That won't stay like that. Like that. Well, that might. That'll do. That's all right. Look at that, oh, hang on. 
So what we got? Dude. Legacy, not master distillers. I get confused. Are you seeing this? Cool. Heck yeah. Cool. As oh. you'll know, I'm much like Ben on prefer the real deal. Yes. Full, full strength cock. We turn him well. We we taught him well, folks. Yeah, you, you are on uh, X tag, yeah. Oh no. Oh, we will have to M tag. Ah, oh, crikey. How do we do that from here? Ah, oh, we got to go to that. It's not having us. It's figuring me your imagination. Do, 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 do. I've got to um. Yeah. How do Question I do that again? That's right. I've got to M tag. It's always uh, maybe the new app has M tag feature uh, inbuilt. I got to tell you, I don't. I don't think it will, but I'm going to try. If, you know, what do they do? They kick you off? No, but you've just got to obey the rules and like, you know, no drinking during... Well, you, sorry, you, you can drink, but you've got to just a, a, acquire an M-Tag. I can't even bring it up though. It's cold. Yeah, we're still good. What a beautiful spot. The place we're going to go watch the sun go down is beautiful down the road a bit too. Rad. Can someone in the chat, I haven't got to it yet, but can someone put the link to the um, to the uh, thing, the dashboard, so I can M-tag? Mine's just not loading at all. Got no uh, minutes. No, no, still got 7th hour. I can M-tag? Yeah, see? So we're good still. Have you got a chat there? Do you yeah, like chat? Down. You gotta turn that down so that otherwise the stream hits it. Oh, oh, it's gonna blow over. I think it's gonna blow over. We're trying to do this, uh, well, I'm trying to use the new DLive app and I'm not having much success. It's a weird angle. Yeah, it's, a, it's an up angle. Like, it's almost like I'm just chilling. Yeah. Nice and wide though, like good, good wide lens, but um, I guess I could just go, oh, you know what, I should, I should book, I, well, when I get this in the chat, I'll bookmark it. I wish a mod could, could do this for me. I know, I know it's not possible, but that would be a good feature for a mod to be able to do. Because right now, I can't even load the DLive app. And it's not my freaking internet, because I'm streaming with it, and we're sitting at 7,000, we're on 7,000. Um... Oh, you know what? Yeah, I can. You can send it to me, or I can. Nav I can find it. Oh, hang on, no. Gibbs, you wouldn't make it as. A I'm reading the chat. Thanks, Giggle, because I wouldn't make it as a monk. I, <laughs> I, wouldn't I? Um, thanks for the vote of confidence there, Giggle Pickles. Nice to have you back too. No, uh, sorry, you can't even find the dashboard because you don't even know what it is. No. Um, can someone get a uh, guardian to M tag me? You know what? They can do that. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I can't do it here for some reason. I can't even load the freaking. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill the Wi-Fi and then load it back up again. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe we're just needing to do that, and then I should be good. But I'm streaming with it. But that's going to be a bit nifty. Let me see. Sorry about the rocky road here, folks. A little bit of bouncer bounce going on. So you kill the internet on the stream or? I'll kill one of them because I've got two here. Yeah, I've got two going here. Oh, actually, that's my fault. It's actually only one. There's only one internet working. Oh, really? Yeah. One's not working because it's not getting signal or it's just not working? Sometimes this Optus one just goes, alert, no, uh, no, no, um, no network. When there is one, and you just got to you just got to factory reset it. Got a black swan coming to say hello. That's going to fall over. No, I'm going to just take it off there. For the extra height we're gaining, it's not worth it falling off. Off. Let's put it there. While we wait, can you? Oh, we can just just pull one out, man. Like we we're doing what we can here, and it's not not our fault. But if there's a guardian watching, can you M tag me? I'm trying to do it, but so as you can see, I've already drank half of it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember them any of them being exceptionally good. 
none of them were like, you know, less than standard jack, which we've had that discussion how some of the fancier ones can, or some of the more expensive ones, like even some of the single barrels aren't that all they're cracked up to be. I got a confess confession, I have had these. Yeah, obviously the same. I have only had number one though. Uh, and we've never done a direct comparison. No, we haven't. A side by side by side comparison of all three. That's what it's about today. I'm, that's what we saved it for. So I knew Benham was coming over to Did shoot eventually or come and say hello. And Last time I was here, you gave me a single barrel um, Sinatra Select. Yeah, Sinatra Select. Yeah, that yeah. was good. That was really good. Yeah, you'd saved a section of that for me as well. I'm going to connect to the uh, hook. And uh, just give me one second, I reckon I can maybe get to this. I'm trying to do the right thing here, folks. Shoot pelicans out there now. Okay. Yeah. It's funny seeing pelicans this far inland. Okay, so I see the chat now. Giggle Pickles, Davo, sorry, gives I could help, but I got no idea. And Hendrik gives me the link. Thank you, H-Man. Appreciate you, dude. Champion. Hey, Hendrik. Thank you, man. Are we level? Actually, don't answer that. We probably are nowhere near level, and it's going to get less level as we move along. Okay, I can, <laughs> I can definitely do this now. So, uh, stream. This wants me to log in. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Do you know your password even? I mean, I hope it comes up here. It does. Touch ID. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I've logged in. Now I've got to go back to that link. And stream channel, I believe it's under. Nope. Uh, live. Yeah, it's been a live stream, you think? It would be a live setting. Stream summary, subscription hosting, and rerun. I remember this was really hard to find once. Stream summary. Nope. Live. Here we go. Stream information. Title, language, category, tag, family friendly, and select. Mature audiences only and there we are. hit save. Save details success. We can swear. All right, we can also have a have a drink. Well, first comparison. Thank you, James. Have a nice day, crack a day. Look at that. To all Cheers, the, everyone. All the shooting done. Yeah, done. And now we can chillax. Oh, we yeah. It's good. I like it, man. Yeah. It's um. A little smoother, a little more rounded than standard light. All the comparisons will always be, as I'm sure the viewers know, mm. to standard light, old number seven. What I call regulation. Regulation. Regular. No Super. one ever does, but I do. It make, makes sense, just regular old number seven. They often call it black label. Yeah, right. I never heard of it. Before. Well, I guess because they do a white label and a gold label. They only do white label here in Australia, though. Oh, really? That, that um... Uh, sweeter 37% one is only an Australian mm. version. I didn't like it at first. Like, first, my boy was like, nah, it's too sweet. Then I drink a lot of Jackson Dry or Jackson Soda, or I should say, or Jackson Dry. Right. And it goes well with soda and lime. Yeah? Yeah, because it is a little bit sort of sweeter just on the tongue. Not actually, it's, it, when, when we say sweeter, it's not really actually sweeter like, as in sugar, is it? It's nah. kind of like. It, so the idea is. Yeah, it's interesting. What they say is it's it's been maturing in. A cooler part of the barrel warehouse so they right. take you know how we're talking about how they blend it all yes yeah. it's, it's a mix well they take a section that's uh, designated and they put it in an area that doesn't get much sunlight in the warehouse right. and that somehow less oak seepage or something yeah like that. something like that and then when it when they bottle that it's designated as at a different ABV and right. that's sent to us yeah yeah definitely, different, different, differently ABV it's 37 yeah 37, 37 yeah Hello chat. So let me address the chat. What have I missed? I apologize for neglecting the chat. It's not something that I want to do on a stream. Uh, let me just see if my chat is working. Rob Max says, cheers. Hendrik gave me the link, so no one else is chatting anyway. If anybody's watching and they're not here on DLive, 
please come on down the D-Live town. Come and see us. You know it. I had to refresh. I'm one of the, just curious as to see if the D-Live, because we both downloaded the new app, and I wonder if that's fixing a lot of the issues that a lot of people have been reporting. Oh, okay. So other issues other than the ones we had today. That was I don't think there was D-Live. That no. was nothing to do with D-Live, no. Yeah, that was, that was a very strange... You just started your stream, and no, it's not going to work. Still don't know what it was. Yeah. Still don't really know, yeah. And so the chat hasn't updated. Oh, and that's no one's chatting. It's probably no one chatting. Yeah. To get as many people in I wanted to get more in IRLs. Mm. Rather than Typically IRLs levels. are better viewed. It's a beautiful night, a beautiful afternoon for it. It is, man. Even though it's uh, windy and a bit cold, that sun when it hits is warm. Yeah, I think it'll be sunburned again today. See that hawk flying in the background or is that a kite? Might be a kite. That's a bird for sure. I mean like a kite, the birds. The oh, the kite. kite bird, yeah, yeah, yeah. A black hooded kite. They're like a hawk, type of hawk. Yeah. I see quite a few of them around here, so. Well, they just hover like that. Fully. Oh, wow. Is one of those green birds you were saying you saw something? That's different. No, that's not it. No. I don't know what that is. A lot of bird watchers do come along here. I think one of those spots I was telling you about with the little camera holsters. Oh, yeah. For bird watching. There's little bird watching things like these little, little like, holes. Yeah, cool. Skin, like the wooden slats and stuff. We'll see that a bit later. Chatting Giggle Pickles. Hendrik, cooking dinner. Hendrik is celebrating a 28 month sub streak. Hey, oh. H man. I'm going to tap this bench backing. 28 times. Thank you for the 28 <laughs> month sub streak, dude. 28 slaps indicates 28. See if I can get this in one. You count them as well. You're a drummer. You'll be able to count. Right, in, in fact, do you want to do it as you a drummer? Do it. No, you do it. I'll count. 28 slaps, folks. That was pretty good. Was that 28? It was, yeah. I felt like it was. Sounded like 28. I didn't realize you wanted to say fast. Yeah, you, you give it a crack. Try 28 slaps yeah. like that. That one too many? I got 25. No, it's definitely not 25. What did your chat get? I got 25 there, man. Yo, Donovan, how you doing, man? Donovan Brady? I mean, you'd probably be better off doing it with two hands, right? Certainly. I well, how would you do it? I don't man? generally count to 28, we'd break it down. Will it be four, four to a bar? So you'd 28 have... to be like four. Eight, eight lots of four. Yeah. Is that, is that what you do in your head? Yeah, if we're playing it. I usually wouldn't play it that fast. I'm not a death metal drummer. No, no. Who's your favourite drummer of all time? Ooh, that's one of those questions. Um, probably Thomas Pridgen. I'm not sure who that is. African-American drummer. He played with Mars Volta. Oh. Does a lot of session stuff, mainly session stuff, and like, you know, solo product endorsement type show-off stuff. Yeah. A single kick drum, but God, he can play. Right. Most famous free stuff from Mars Volta. Which which albums did he play on? Uh, Octahedron. Okay. Uh, what's the other one? Couldn't tell you. D. Louster, the commentary. No, that was um, Thomas. Another Thomas. I can't think of his name either. Name escapes me. D Donovan said he heard 25 as well. Right, Donovan? I got 25. Like a on terrible that. drummer then. Dude, I, I'm not even a drummer. I'm not even a musician and I got 28. I see the donations there too. Whoever donated, thank you. I didn't I didn't see it. We were walking. No, you don't hear them. I usually hear the little yeah, ding yeah. dong. Turned all that off on, on live streams. Oh, well, sorry, the stream still hears it, but I don't. Oh, okay. And there's been no, um, obviously no cryptocurrency stream this week because of these priorities here. Oh, yeah, but, um, yesterday usually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's been happening in crypto? I mean, aside from hex going down to 12 cents, I believe. 12 cents a hex. Is that because of that thing you were talking about, the, the duplicate? Pulse chain. Pulse um, chain, yeah. Well, I don't know, and I don't pretend to I know. I doubled, then went down to half, so it's only worth the same as what you had to start off with, which would be kind of well, almost see, expected. I kind of see where you're going, but that, I don't think that's at play. Number one, Pulse Chain hasn't even launched yet, so it oh, okay. can't be the factor. Oh, good. We can change over my um, 
Yeah, you got Ethereum. 20, 20 Ethereum or something, haven't you? 13. You got 13 Ethereum. No, was, I checked after that, that was 0.13. Oh, okay. About two, okay. two grand worth, okay, okay. two and a half that, grand that, worth. That mate, that was, well, 13 would be rad, but. Well, it wouldn't it be just if, yeah. if 0.13 is worth two grand or two and a half grand? It got up to, oh, yeah, yeah. And one one got to about four and a half grand at one point, Ethereum. So just one? Just for one, yeah. It must be worth more than that now then. No, it, so I looked it, at point one three. It was like it dropped again. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Still, if I can double it up, why not? Yeah, man. I got a little. I'm a, I'm a crypto amateur, but I learned from this stream and just from chatting with Ben on it in general. I like that. Hey, like we we started the crypto streams with having I had no knowledge. You had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the the big news in crypto is that BTT, which is what DLive plays on, so which that's did nothing like, after I bought some. <coughs> yeah. Well. Little you, bit. you might have got in at the wrong time because it did quite a good run for a while. It went back down though, didn't it? And yeah, yeah, and everybody, well not everybody, but a lot of streamers cashed out at that point. I cashed uh, out I cashed out most of mine. That's how I got my portfolio through through You cashed out when it did well. You got yeah, it really early when it was yeah. cheap, yeah. I didn't I didn't buy any, but I you used to earn it from streaming. Oh, wasn't it something else that turned into BTT? That's correct, yeah, yeah. Lino, yeah. Lino, that's right. And so I was very fortunate to, to have been on DLive from the 2019 and staking and putting my, my Lino away and then it became BTT. But the big news is now, um, Justin Sun has just changed it all and BTT is now called BTT Old. And there's a, there's a change in the value of it diluted by 1 to 1,000. Yeah, okay. So that may, means the value of what I've got has just plummeted dramatically. A thousand by a thousand fold. Uh, yeah. Well, Essentially, I, I don't know if I understand it. Is correctly. that because of the market cap, or? Well, he says the market cap remains unchanged. That's what I read. So there's a new currency called but it would BTT. Cre but it would create a different market cap essentially because we're changing the dilution of it by a thousand times. And then you can have a thousand times as much before you reach the market cap. That's what I would assume. The way I understand, like I still yeah. don't understand that completely. But. Yeah, that's how I get. That's what I gather, but uh, I don't see. Uh, his his tweet says, BTT is now BTT old, and BTT is the new one, and the. The um, market cap remains unchanged, but D BTT is now uh, diluted to the value of one to one thousand. So you can just back it with the pen straight. This goes, you're worth nothing. Essentially, so yeah. Sail that ship off into the sunset on a turd flavored robot. <laughs> a turd flavored robot. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I, um, I made a, a rec or asked the question in the in the D Live Discord. How does this BTT change affect D Live? Mm. And the the response was kind of cryptic. It makes no difference. But there are, no, it makes no difference. But there, it's not to say that we're not making changes. Right. So something big is, or something is coming. Yeah. Okay. Donovan, what time is it here? It is. About seven o'clock. Is it? Yeah. I, we're I, trying I, to launch it now, earlier, but yeah, we 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 trapped around for about half an hour at least. I guess it's about yeah seven o'clock. But yeah, if anybody knows about this BTT change and can educate me, I'd love to know the the actual details because I don't know I've got BTT I've still been staking it but it kind of seems a little unfair to be able to do that yeah yeah like just in any other market whether it be you know investments or anything else that's you know a tangible um, asset you know just all of a sudden says it's now worth one one thousandth of what you paid or, or one one thousandth well, of what it was worth that's what they do with, when they print new money though the value of the dollar changes the moment they print new yeah but they because then there's a lot to do it yeah. Mm. Interesting. So he's like, he's like the, the Rothschild of BTT. He just changed the value. It's, it's his network. Well, yeah. The Tron network is his yeah, yeah. network, and BTT is one of the tokens. And the sad thing is that he hasn't made any, like since he since he bought DLive, and DLive jumped over to BTT. Mm. He hasn't really embraced DLive at all. Hasn't really. Oh, you said that, yeah. Yeah, he's never come out and said, "Oh, hey, this is my new acquisition, and we want to do this on this platform, and we want to, you know, promote this and that." It's just been radio silence until oh. now, where it's like uh, BTT's gone. It's now BTT old, and there's a new token called BTT. Isn't it's it strange? Like, it's like a restart. It's like, yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like a restart, Ding. and 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 it's like restarting, but you're going to have the same name. <laughs> it's like uh, I hope Dan's not watching it's when a band kicks out a member like bet the old Ben Folds thing mm. they change their name and then they change their name back because people like the old name it was a good way of getting rid of a certain member they didn't want oh. it was undesirable you, you, you might have had something you, yeah you might know more about that that's not what Ben Folds did though 
Ben Folds. Same coat, new flavor. Yeah, but the, this one's got a brand new hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Malibu Stacy. <laughs> no, but what Ben Folds did was, I, be, I thought Ben Folds 5 ended, and when he went solo, he just chose the name Ben Folds, because that's his name. Yeah. Or his stage name, I don't even know if it's his but real like, name. Three of his members followed him, it's just a different name. I'm not sure what the story was, but it was in the Southern member. Well, there's always been three, and the five was always the five fingers of the piano, I thought. Oh, I don't know. I'm not a big enough fan to know, because I know he wrote yeah. about it in one of his songs. Do you know I never ever saw him around the traps when he was no, here? No, no, never hang out like... Never ran into him anywhere. Grace or whatever. Yeah, not not once, and I was like deeply involved in photographing yeah, yeah, every night. Scene, yeah. nev not even like really? at a social event, not once. Uh, he was up in the hill, or well, not up here, but up in the hills as far as I was aware. Okay, I wasn't really sure of that either. And they had a nice place. Yeah. And then he just left, hey, he's like, this marriage sucks, so does this city, so does this country, I'm out. Like, I'm he was done. married to someone here? No. He married a woman called Franny or Frelly, Frelly, Franny, Franny, something. Sounds like a giant crane. And he even wrote a song called Adelaide. Yeah, I knew that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he perform here much? I, I, thought, I, did, I did photograph him, like, in at shows, but never, like, I would have assumed, just like you'd see anybody else from any band, at other shows, just hanging out. <laughs> it's probably the walking track we're sitting on, so we'll probably see some people along the way. Davo, I'm Some going to Wollongong movies. for Christmas to see family. Hell yeah, Davo. Good good times, man. Have a good time over there. I won't say that went down pretty good. Mm. Pretty damn good. Hell yeah. What's the plan? A second one at the same spot or move on? Oh, same spot, then we'll move on and do another one. I like, that. I like that plan. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's a, it's a little bit more easy to drink, I think, than standard old. Not, not, not too far removed. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like they found a barrel or two or whatever and went, so it's actually so slightly better. Just I don't so think slightly. there's not a lot difference, to be honest. No, it's a little think. bit smoother, a little yeah, bit more, a little bit yeah. caramelly, a little bit, just a touch. I mean, it's a nice bottle, though. They should have done these legacy ones in the round bottles, though. You remember when it used to be the round bottle? Like the, the, see these flat edges? They used to be rounded. Sure. And, and this bit? I'm sure I'd have one in my collection somewhere, yeah. This bit will be rounded? You don't yeah, remember yeah. that? It, it, yeah, check, check that out, man. Bugnish, thank you, Davo. I appreciate a little Bugnish there. A little Weenski. Just another reminder, if anybody's watching this and you're not on DLive, if you're not watching this on dlive.tv slash gives a minute, you're, you're watching it, which I appreciate. Thank you. Hello. I'm not seeing you if you're chatting, though. I know you can see me. Hello. But I'm not seeing you. So if you want to chat, if you want to ask questions, you want to comment on what we're doing and you want to spill your guts to us. Wondering what it's all about. Yeah, you're wondering what the hell these dudes are doing on this park bench in Murray Bridge. you got to come over to DLive because that's the only chat that I'm looking at. And uh, I keep saying it, but I am promoting this elsewhere. Also, I know we're not level, and I'm not. I'm also not caring because it's only going to get worse. Worse? I mean better. Better. Yeah, that's what I meant. You spelled worse wrong. <laughs> All right. Cheers, man. Cheers. These are actual Jack glasses too. Look at that, folks. Old number seven. This one. You get on it's old number seven. There's nothing like. Jack Daniels, old man, certainly. Is that what yours says? Yeah, it looks slightly different. Oh, yeah. Got a whole pile of them over the years. You know, you buy a bottle and you get a free glass. Yeah. I'm all about a free thing. Mm. You get a free glass. See, my phone's been plugged in and I just got a low battery plugged in. Oh, the old lead's no good, or? Yeah, it's the lead. That's no good. Yeah, it sucks. It's going to lose the chat. Yeah, at some point it'll be like, no, nah, you can't watch. So I can watch it on my phone, it's all completely charged, battery settings in chat. Yeah, alright. Well, if it, I mean, if it dies, it dies. <clears throat> if it dies, it dies. Donovan with a dancing chick on. Dude, is that a... How oh, that was serenity. I just thought I saw a boat capsize over there, and then when I looked again, it's just the water between the reeds. Oh, right. And right. A bird launched between it and it splashed. Yeah, we get um, 
what do they call those birds that catch the fish? The um, these are for like Chinese fishing bird birds. Bird fishing, yeah. What do they call them? Um, Hungry ones. Uh, cormorants. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're, they're amazing though. You see them pop down there, and they kind of have a here over the fish. Rad. They're rad fishermen. They always catch a fish. They come up to, to, to eat the fish. So they catch it and they come to the surface and they're like, yeah, and swallow it down. You were watching one one day, just like fascinated how how like successful as fishermen, fish, fisher birds they are. Fisher birds. You mm. can't call them men. Fisher feathers. Definitely can't call them women. No, certainly not. Birds, women. We don't know that association here. No. Not on the internet. Yeah. You're definitely a haven for bird life. I've seen just all sorts. So this Swans. this river doesn't actually really flow anywhere, does it? This is not actually the river proper here, what they call the river proper. So you see that section over the back there? There's that little, little it looks like a bin, I think. That's like a the actual bank, and then the river's over that again. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. This is what they call the backwaters. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a billabong, mate. A billabong, that's right. Yeah. Correct. This is a billabong. Let's throw another shrimp on the barbie, mate. The billabong's getting dry. <laughs> Actually, it ended up being a beautiful afternoon. Getting away from the wind is, is definitely helping. Yeah, we battled the clouds a bit today with taking shots. Yeah, oh, on dude. And off, it's not, not a, barely a cloud. It's pretty to be much seen. clear, hey? Yeah. That was weird. All, that, all day down in Adelaide, it was like speckled and moving. And... Yeah. Waiting to catch the gaps for light. Yeah. Oh, on Facebook, Lino, if you're watching, hello, I came down to see you. You weren't there. I know where you were. And you weren't there either. <laughs> I'll try to see you again. And I did try though. Yeah, I heard, um, yeah, Frank said that you now work Caruso's and so does Danny every now and then, uh, pre-packaged. No dockets, no tickets, no no orders, just a set menu that you got to prepare and package up. Sounds more chill. Like we were saying before, it seems to be the way people are going, like pre-made food, pre-made meals. Yeah. You have to think about it. Food prep time becomes, you know, halved at least. Yeah, yeah. Like people are so busy, or well, the life is just so hectic. Well, that's what um, when I poked my head into the in the kitchen, Frank said, oh, it's just that's more chilled. Like no no more pressure of like orders in, orders yeah, out, coordinating. That busy hour or two or during dinner or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Ladies. They're like, what the hell are these guys doing? They see this bottle of Jack, they see the camera. They're not sure what's happening to what we're doing. Oh, well. It's very relaxing. It is, man. even connected still. Yeah, so that's doing the same thing. Not charging? It's just, ha no, no, it's charging, but it just hasn't got a, a signal. Interesting. So we've literally been streaming here with just Telstra. At least it's working, that's why you have two, isn't it? it exactly, yeah. And bitrate's been, well, the bitrate's pretty low. Yeah. Interesting. It it's is. It's like 7k seven, seven up the road there. Yeah. Where, I wonder where the tower is there. I assume it's a little bit more that way because that's where the boat ramp is, and that's where like the caravan park is, and where all the people go to hang out when we go when we, they come this way. Right. But where we're heading is the other way. We'll see. No, we'll, on the way, we'll walk up to the next section. We'll have a look at the bit right of what they're walking. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep an eye on it. Hmm. In these kind of like, I know this is the backwater of the Billabong, but when. Like, I'm, see the water, see how it's like muddy right there? Like, the water isn't clear? Yeah, that's way away for the river now. Yeah, yeah, I always wondered how come in a river where there's not much current, shouldn't that just settle? Carp. That's what? The fish. Oh, the fish. The that's fish. what I heard. I don't know any different, but they're constantly swirling on the bottom, and there's millions of them now, billions of them. Yeah. They're constantly just churning up the fine silt. It makes sense. Yeah, and it'd be thousands of them in here. Yeah. Thousands and thousands of them, probably millions of them just in here. They're yeah, talking totally. about trying to eradicate the carp with like electrocution or like a, there was a carp herpes virus. 
So it wouldn't want to be the first first person to have to give like calf herpes. But yeah, well, I, I didn't do it. I don't want that job. Yeah. But they're going to try and get rid of them, but then they realise it'd be like three million tons of fish that would just start floating to the surface and they'd be all yeah. infected. So it would probably make the water even worse. Yeah, true. So they're talking about electric electrocution. So they go along with a boat with these two electric prongs. Oh, wow. And they electrocute the fish and then they just stuns them. Yeah. Taking the carp, leaving the natives, and just doing that up and down and paying someone to go and do it. Huh. They do it in other parts of the world where carp are a problem. I think it might even be in parts of America, and they're not completely eradicated them, but they control the problem. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's some places in America that have issues with carp. Wow. And so what? they electrocute the water and it kills just the carp? No, they don't kill anything, it stuns them and they float to the surface. Oh, and they just selectively they, pick they out? They selectively pick out the carp with you know, big nets and then take them back. These are for fertilizer, the Charlie Carp fertilizers. Wow. So they mulch them down into fish emulsion and fertilizer, which is actually quite effective. I watched a show the other day where this guy got two tomato plants. I wanted to check the effectiveness of fish or blood and bone as a fertilizer. Put some fish under one plant and not in the next one, and it did grow more. Huh. And made more fruit because of the fertilizing effects of the dead fish. Those, those fish so, that don't get scooped up would be like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. And then they'd be like, happened again last week? What the fuck keeps happening? Hey, zing, I'm getting zapped. Yeah. And then Telling their mates like, there. like, nah, you're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, yeah, the other fish are like, you're tripping, dude. Nothing's going. And nah, go over there and you uh, tell me it doesn't happen to you. And zing! They start doing it for fun, like, let's go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> fish don't have memory, though. That's that's the beauty of it, apparently. Like, that's why the goldfish keep swimming around the bowl. Hey, they don't know that they've already been there. Didn't they prove that was a bit of a myth? Did they? Yeah, they did. Mythbusters? Somebody would talk to the fish and say, look, do you remember that? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 they've always picked the dumb fish, though. They've got to get the smart one That's out right. of the pack. Asking the dumb ones that have already been caught. They can't be too smart. Yeah, yeah. Would it be like fish busters? Fish, fish busters. busters, yeah. Hendrix says, you mean Uber Eats, for the Phantom Kitchen? Yeah, I guess that's what that is. I mean, I wonder if I wonder if what Lino's doing is, is a side business. Because Caruso's is the fresh fruit and produce which, by the way, the Strand aren't using anymore. But oh, they, wow. the Strand, for as long as I worked there, all of our fresh fruit and vegetables came from Caruso's. Next door. Well, yeah, next door well, two, two doors yeah. or three doors down. And now they're not using them, but Caruso's obviously still provide fresh fruit and vegetables throughout Adelaide. But they're also doing this other thing, I suppose. I don't, I don't know. I have to ask Lino. But... Alex Carp Jones. There's a There's a... You want to start this already, Hendrik? <laughs> Not ready for it yet. I'm going to do it, do it properly. Hang around. Yeah. You want to do it properly? You want to do it justice? Yeah. So, H-Man, while, uh, while it's just you and me, because I see five viewers, uh, what's cracking on DLive? Uh, have you been streaming? Is, has Sharla had her resolution? Is, that, is there a resolution for Sharla's issue yet? Is she's, she, not, she's not on at all. She's not back? I don't know. I saw someone uh, posting the Sharla Rose like little gift things. but So, she's, so she hasn't got any resolution to her, her situation? And have you, have you been streaming, Hendrik? Have you been doing anything? I've been literally off... I've been out of it for the since I guess since Sunday, but yeah, I'm I'm um, I'm concerned about that situation with Shyla. If she did something, then she should she should be able to be told, of course, what she did. Uh, no news with Shyla. Okay, shit. So, what happens then? Like, how do, how do we do we have to go into bat for her and figure this out and work this out? Someone can work it out, like let us know what happened. I mean, she doesn't even know what happened. How, do, how are we going to know? It's a little concerning though, that's for Soiton. I haven't been streaming, not sure if I ever will. Yeah, so, so you're... 
Yeah, I remember you expressed that to me that you're a little annoyed at it all and it's kind of ruining your... You're not enthused to do it either. Too difficult or...? No, he's, he's more saying that because of what happened to Shiloh. He's oh. putting his foot down saying that shit. Someone make a someone make an announcement as to what happened and why and then... They can't imagine of any people, her getting deleted. That's just crazy. I see a lot of dicks. Well, I have seen a lot of dicks on here and they don't seem to really get much, you know... Nothing happens no to them. Yeah. No yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Very strange. Why don't you just do what most people do is do and start another account? <sighs> I mean, I'd, I'd say, the, yeah, do that because that's what... It's um, the easiest solution, of course. That's the solution, yeah. It doesn't really... It doesn't fix any issue, but it gets around it. Yeah, strange, eh? Very strange. It's almost the equivalent of like when when I when a big streamer leaves, I've always been annoyed that D Live doesn't sort of have any effort to sort of say, oh, how come you're going to leave? Like, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to work out what's going on? We can fix it or we can make a change or do something. They go to a different platform. Or? Yeah, they usually just leave to different platforms. Wow, they and take thousands or hundreds of viewers with them. They take everything. They take their audience with them. And D Live never says. Hang on a sec, man. Is there anything we can do to, to fix this, or wow. what, what are your concerns? Like, what are you hoping to achieve there? Can we can we like maybe come to some agreement that we can, you know, whatever? Try and at least help. What your problem is, if there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. If there's an issue that we can fix, let's work on it. Whatever happened with those? Like, was it were they Russian dudes? They come across and brought like two, three thousand, like or half a million followers or something stupid. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember those guys? Yeah. Did what? they even hang around or? Remember the, the night it happened? I was on. We were, I was watching you. Yeah, there was stream, that. Yeah. And like everyone was like, "What the hell is this? That's like some right. crazy Russian dudes come across from such and such, and they're like, yeah, X I, amount of followers or something ridiculous amount of followers." And when I went, went across and had a look, I was like, "What the hell was that about?" Yeah, that lasted a nanosecond. Hey, I, I yeah. don't know. I'd forgotten about that. It's huge though. Yeah. Everyone was like, "What's that over there?" Yeah, yeah. And suddenly eyes are on D Live and donations coming through. Yeah, and ridiculous. Then, like hundreds, thousands. Yeah, and that's when. I was saying this from the beginning, that's when streamers can earn. Because as a streamer, if you stake your BTT, you earn a percentage of what every other streamer earns. Okay. And that's that's a good thing for streamers, and it's a good thing for whales that don't give a rat's ass about streaming, but they want to cash yeah, in on the crypto. Cool. Yeah. So on the one hand, you've got whales earning off the back of streamers, which is bad. But on the other hand, you've got a lot more eyes on DLive, which is good. Yeah. So but it brings money in. It brings money in, it brings viewers in, it brings people in. But then on the other hand of that, you've got a year down the track and nothing good has come from it. So here we are streaming right now. Seven viewers. And I'm, I'm not trying to big note myself, but seven viewers watching an IRL stream on DLive in 2021. We would, I would have thought this would be way bigger by now. Yeah, true, true. And I'm not saying my content, thought, I'm not saying I'm the best, I'm just saying, fast forward from the beginning, you yeah, would have thought, thought that, that it would yeah. have been constantly evol evolving and getting bigger and bigger, and it's just gone the opposite. So how long had you been streaming when I come on board about, what, nearly two, nearly two years ago? It was just I, after COVID hit, wasn't it? So we were all locked you, up. Yeah, you came in just on COVID, but I'd already been here since 2018, uh, 2019. So probably about a year before. I came on April 2019. So about a year before. Yeah. Well, well, you no, you came in. I think uh, April twenty. Uh, was it April twenty twenty? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So COVID was well and truly in, but it was well and truly in. And I remember seeing something. I was like, oh, say that. Yeah. And I would have thought it would have been bigger too, because even though a lot has changed, kind of a, a not a lot has changed. Yeah. We're still like restrictions. A lot of people are staying at home. Yeah. Um, you know, th there's been lockdowns, of course, which would obviously we you'd think would increase people looking for interactional type, you know, mm. platforms to. To, to you know, communicate. I'm I surprised. I, I want to be clear for the record. I'm I'm not saying I demand more viewers. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that the platform D Live should have any all platforms across the yeah, board. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. There should be there should be a bigger. This should be bigger by now. Justin Sun bought it. He's loaded. He's done nothing to promote it. Nothing to help D Live. Get this thing out there. What about all the new people that are be coming from the BitTorrent integration? Blah blah blah. Nothing. In fact, hasn't like YouTube's sort of YouTube sort of kind of died a little bit? 
YouTube as like especially for like live streamers and streamers in general yeah I'm, I'm not so sure if that's that's so true but YouTube in general as a platform for content creators definitely has suffered mm. but it but the numbers are so big that the suffering doesn't make a difference yeah okay it's scaled but there is certainly a, a big uh, there's a huge insurgence of people saying I'm so sick of this YouTube restrictions blah blah all the crap that they put on and demonetization and all the ways that they hamper creativity, it's, uh, it sucks, but they're still the biggest. Do you give any of your Jack Daniels reviews scores? No, I don't. Is there a reason for that? Um, Do you want to trap yourself? No, no, it's not that. It's just, I don't know if I'd be able to score them accurately. Yeah, or well, you yeah. get to a certain point, you go, this is a nine. Mm. Something comes along and it's like... That's a ten. Yeah, it's a ten. Yeah. You can't go from 10. You can never give a 10. How do you give Then a you can 10? never give a, a 10 higher than that. Then we're talking about that today. We're scoring certain things and saying, well, that's a 10. Yeah. You're like, it's a solid 15. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even like the heat scale on the, the, the chili sauce is like 15 out of 10. Well, that, how's that possible? Yeah, yeah. It's either a 10 out of 10 or it's not. No one can give more than 100%. By definition, that is the most Correct. anyone can give. Like the older, you've got to give it 110%. Well, yeah. that's not possible. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't give ratings to my Jack, but are you going to say what, what that would be? Well, I was just thinking that I never sort of thought about doing it that way, but we're, we're doing a comparison today, so it's kind of not relevant. Yeah. But I just thought about, you know, how do you get a comparison? How do you quantify that a comparison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a 9, that's a 10, that's a 7. You should find out. How do I, or how do others? How do others oh, I just wondered in general. Just in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it, if it does do that. It's, it, that's the, probably the reason I don't do it, is because it's so... It's so ambiguous as to what the scale is. And one might think it's an eight, you might think it's a nine. Yeah, yeah. So I watched people reviewing. We did it on the stream actually. We watched a, a Jack Daniels review, taking all the jacks and reviewing them. All of them. Well, that's the thing. They did a very strange selection. They like, they went with honey, which is not. No, it's not. That, that, that's that, a liqueur. That's a liqueur really mix count, of jack. Count for me. They did the cinnamon, which is again another liqueur. They did. Is it a liqueur? Is it, is it silky? I've never actually had. I'm not a big fan of Fireball or liqueur. Dude, the honey one is rad. Oh, the honey ones I've tried. Yeah, I, I really. That's kind do. of syrupy, but is the cinnamon one the same? Like, oh yeah, they're both the same. Oh, both okay, same. so no, and and do like do not get the apple one. You'll yeah, hate no, it. I tried the apple can. That was disgusting. Uh, you would have been. That would have been a Jim Beam. No, it wasn't Jack Jim Beam. Jack hasn't got an apple can in Australia. They got an apple tonic. What was the in the UK? One? The sel seltzer is blood orange and the zesty lemon. Yeah, I remember the lemon one then. Yeah. It wasn't nice. It, yeah, the, I mean, sure it was apple. No, nah, there's, there's no apple. Well, you'd know. There's no apple jack in Australia, aside from the apple jack bottle. But but um, they did that. They did. And then they picked, this is weird, White Rabbit Saloon. Mm -hmm. And they talked about it like it was just go and buy it off the shelf. Like you can either get the black label or you can get White, white uh, Rabbit Saloon. I'm like... That was a limited edition release. If you see that in a store, you're buying stock that... I never saw it. You've got one. I bought it online. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And the way they were talking about it was like, this is just one of the Jack varieties. It's like, it's not. And it was expensive. You've got a, you've got a collector's item that is no longer available except in limited quantity that is still left over from when it was on sale. Yeah. So okay. they're not making any more of that. And they, were, and they used that. But they also did Gentleman Jack and Single Barrel Select and regular and they also did bottled in bond which i thought was cool bottled in bond is i've got that as well yeah it's nice yeah yeah 50 percent. it's quite harsh it is yeah it's it's mm. a well that so that bottle was meant to be only for duty free markets but because of covid they said okay well now you can buy it oh. anywhere because it was only available well, sinatra was the same so I, when sinatra came out i bought it quite cheap and someone else said like about it well, it might have been you yeah. a year later said oh it's actually you know it's 230 bucks. No, it was more than that. It was like 400. Oh, wow. It was like 230 or 240 duty free. Oh, wow. It was like 400 bucks. I said, like, no, no, no. And it was like, wasn't available to the general market. It was just a duty free thing. And then they released it later. Yeah, I mean, or something along you, those that might lines. be right. Might be I, some of those lines. Yeah, you could be right. Maybe you didn't sell enough of it to be. Yeah. Oriented. I don't know. But anyway, their review was like, we give the honey one three out of 10 because it's garbage. We give the. Uh, White Rabbit Saloon, a good nine out of ten. Really? Yeah, and I'm like, this is all well and true, but of all the bottles you reviewed, you can only buy Gentleman Jack, Old Number Seven, and the Sinatra Select. The rest you can't, or you, the rest you you can get, but you won't be able to find them everywhere. And they're liqueurs, so I don't know. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird selection, definitely. Hendrix says um, he's pissed off. I came in June 2019. You came in April, May, June. Yeah, you came in just after me. 
Hendrik loves the fire and honey more so honey. Yeah, that's that's me too, Hendrik. I'm, yeah, people are a big fan of the honey. Yeah, honey one. And and dude, if you get honey, try it with Coke. Ooh. Oh, it's good, man. It's good. Okay. Take word for it. Shall we move on? Yeah, mate? we're gonna do that. Let's move on. Well, that was that. That was good. I'm gonna put a jumper on. So I want to do because it's dark and chilly. Oh, Hendrik changed it. He said he enjoys the fire more than the honey. Okay, that's the opposite, Hendrik. But I hear you. I hear you, H man. You little changer, uh, change your mind just after you've said it. What are you trying to do confuse me? Yeah, I just I just can't get into the the fireball one. No. Well, the well, cinnamon. The cinnamon, yeah. What do they call it? They call it cinnamon. No, they don't. They, do they? call it tenem uh, Tennessee fire. Tennessee fire. There you go. Yeah. I dig it. Because fireball was the original one, and they they sell it in like two liter casks. It's so popular. I think the, it's disgusting. The fireball is in two liter casks. Fireball, fireball. Yeah, yeah. Not not Jack Daniel's fire. Yeah, yeah. So you're coming up here with me, camera. And the chat's gonna go off for a little while, folks. Let's find a new pew. Yeah, that sounds good. A new pew, 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 pew. I'm gonna just fix you up a little bit here. Come to here. Oh, hang on a second. Whoopsie. Okay, okay. Talking gently to you. That's not right. That's not right. Let me fix it. Right. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hello. I'm talking to the uh, internet here. Do you want to say hello to the internet? Not really. <laughs> she doesn't want to say hello to you, internet. Do you feel let down? I'd feel let down. Enjoy your walk then. I have. I've been to all the prohibited areas. I've had a good time. All the prohibited Go areas. The as well. Oh, she's been to the prohibited areas, folks. Whoa, you little <laughs> rebel. <laughs> she's waiting for it to reach around. She said to me, uh, I don't want to be on the internet, but then I'll tell you I've been to all the prohibited areas. You know, those prohibited areas down here. What does she? Yeah, what does she mean by that? Some private areas. You know what you were saying before to go to that little peninsula. Oh yeah, that, yeah. That's private. But I've been there, but I had no idea that you like weren't allowed. There's no sign saying private property keep out. No, you well. just can't access it easily from the road. So you walk along this path. And we'll get there. Which is, which is, yeah, which is not really a, a, um, a path. It's just a mowed strip by the looks of it. I guess we're going to get there eventually then. Yeah, yeah. If we keep walking this way, we'll eventually get that way. Let's go prohibited. Prohibitation. Prohibitation, and we can blame uh, old mate back there. Helga. Helga, yeah, yeah. Wasn't there a um, a limited jacket? It might have been a really, really old one called Prohibition. I remember seeing a bottle. Um, it had no label. It was like a glass bottle, just with like the Jack Daniels logo on it. And it just said, it had the word prohib called, it was Prohibition. Called, it, was called, it was called Prohibition. I, I, don't don't, I don't think that was an official name. I think it might have actually been during Prohibition. It's yeah. On this Facebook page called. Jack Daniels Collectors Club. Right. And they talk about all the different collectors things. That's why I see so many. I'm just like, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. And they, and they show, you know, vintage bottles of stuff they've had over the past. And yep. they're like, this is the Prohibition bottle. And yeah, I feel like they're... Very, very plain. Cork stop. No actual lid. Yeah. So it was not, wouldn't have a cork with a plastic top like we would see traditionally now. No. It just was a cork stop. No label, no etchings, no batch numbers, no serial numbers. Just with the, the logo. Very crude. Right. And everyone's like, oh, the holy grail of Jack Daniels bottles. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. You have to join that page. It's some really interesting I, I, prob I probably am on it. I'm on a bunch of them, but a lot of them just duplicate. Like someone posts on one and they yeah. post it across the mall. Yeah. I'm not always active on there, but I just see things and go, oh, that's interesting. Here we come to uh, the sun. What's this? A little peninsula of its own. This might be that peninsula I was talking to you about. So might have actually walked. Spots. Wetlands walking trail, full circuit, three and a half k. Oh wow, this goes out here. Oh, we've got so to goes out to that goes out to the TPC to the river proper. Shall we have one out there? Yeah, we shall. Like spot number two. Spot number two. Oh, no, the sections of the bank are closed for repair. You cannot complete the full loop. Well, I guess we're completing the full loop. We didn't want to complete the loop, did we? Not for three and a half k. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? What was that? 
either a cormorant or a, uh, a river rat. So river rats are literally swimming river oh, rats. That's a bird, yeah. Yeah, that's a cormorant. So you're watching with catch a fish. A cheeky bugger. Looking, looking. Just chillaxing. Maybe it's a mate after a dive. The thing is, you never know when they might come up over here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're just about super good swimmers under the water. Oh, cracking. Like Dude, that was good. That was good. He's going the distance. He's going the speed. <laughs> He's a comrade underwater. Getting a feed. <laughs> so you can drive out here by the look of it. I don't think you can get access unless you've got the key, unless you like live here. Ah, oh, yeah. But I see a guy. I've seen guys out here like mowing the lawns or whatever, like ah. mowing the strips. Interesting. With gallons of lawn mowers mowing the strips. Yeah, yeah. Flow th straight through the spit. <laughs> oh, that's what we. Uh, the other conversation we had, which was detailed, we went deep. We needed Duncan for this. We went deep, deep. into Nirvana and. First thing I did was go through James's CD collection, set, searching frantically for Nevermind, because I figured, man, James has been into music for as long as I have. He's a child of my age. He would definitely have bought Nevermind when it was released. Yeah. And I was very, very keen to see if he had the gold edition or the black edition, and he had the gold one. And also, the we, com. Yeah, we suspect that we actually. Uh, my, um, I had a, a couple of copies. And I kept what was one that was in the best condition, not even knowing this little thing that existed. Yeah, yeah. And I reckon I got rid of an old beat up copy, and it was probably the original copy, thinking that I had no idea they were any different apart from the fact that one was beat up and one was new. And I reckon I gave it away, probably sold it on eBay for two bucks. <laughs> so the, the, sold a heap on eBay. the dilemma here, or the story here is, and if you know your Nirvana, you'll know this, but Nevermind was first issued in 1991. Around about September, I believe, I might have got the month incorrect, but either way, when it first came out, it was released and the print on the back of the album was in black. And that meant that your version also included about a 16 minute gap of silence after the last track, which is something in the way. And then it kicks in in the same track, so the, the CD doesn't skip to the next song, it's the same song kicks in with Endless Nameless, which is a track of just a bunch of noise, virtually. It's actually a structured song, but it's an unlisted track. And also on that same version, track eight, did we work it out? Was it nine? Eight? It was eight, yeah. Either way, the traditional peace chant, or what is it, the PSA, it's the song, the traditional song, come on people now, smile on your brother, everybody get together, try to love one another right now. But, unless you got the first version, your version of Territorial Pissing starts with, smile on your brother, everybody, it doesn't have the, come on people now. And so I was very keen to see what James. had because I got my own story Sorry, and James Barna merch got brought out yeah we're googling different versions to try and work out why or how and what versions were on the internet like whether it be Spotify or yeah Discogs or YouTube and in general it's the first version so that's considered the version but on the majority of CDs out there it's the not the right version. That's the gold version. It's crazy. It makes no sense. And the real strange thing is, there's no conversation about it on the internet. And Duncan, I, didn't, I didn't even know. Been yeah. a Nirvana fan for 35 years. Duncan and I have had this discussion before. It's perplexing that nobody talks about that. It's like a crazy the little spot. What do you reckon? Here's better for light down there. This Look, is a good spot. Look at that. It's great. Benched. This is the river proper. And you can see the winds like on top of it. Well. Yeah, yeah. I reckon maybe. This grass will be nice to sit on too because it's not that same. I reckon we sit here and I put the camera on this bench. I'm gonna put you down here. You lovely specimens. 
chat. Yeah, I reckon this is the shizzle. Nice soft grass. He, he found a bit of water that uh, that grass that needs to be watered. AKA, oh, he's taking a slash. Oh, let's check the um, the bit right out here. Yeah, we're good. I guess the Optus one kicked back in. We are so good here. And um, that conversation, oh no, it's still not on. Okay, I'll refresh it here. That um, that conversation about Nirvana is definitely a conversation that I've had before with Duncan, and we haven't come to a, a conclusive conclusion as to why there's nothing about it on the internet. There so was no answers last night, was there? No, nothing? we didn't get it to anything. It before, I should say. Yeah, it's very strange. I even rang my brother, who's been a massive Nirvana fan for years. He did too, yeah. Check on his seat, he's like, yeah, I used to have it, but somebody stole it. And we, we laughed because someone stole Benon's. It's, it seems it's like, like a pretty, yeah. pretty common occurrence that someone had that album and someone stole it. But does that... Maybe it never existed at all. It's a glitch in the matrix. Yeah. Maybe that version never existed. The thing with me, and this is what I ex tried to express to James, is for so long, because I never... So, the story is my CD got swapped out. A friend of mine swapped it and gave it to someone who then passed away and the CD went with him to the grave. Thing is, it took me... Well, I never worked it out until he confessed what he did. So I went on my whole life thinking my CD was skipping when it wasn't skipping, it just didn't... So you picked up on it? I picked up something that was wrong, but I didn't quite no, know what? What, what it was. And I never fast-forwarded or tried to fast-forward something in the way to get to... Because Endless Nameless is not worth it. Yeah, because Endless... Yeah, exactly. Endless Nameless was like, well, that's just a bunch of noise which doesn't really go anywhere and I don't really need to hear it again. So I never quite did that, but I was always like, what's going on with that? Like, what, what happened to, come on, people now? And it, I just gave it up. I just didn't even think about it. And then Grasler comes back to me years later and says, yeah, man, I, um, I swapped it out for your disc. And then I was like, whoa, really? Why? How? Like, when? And, oh, now it all makes sense. And then I went looking. It still doesn't make any sense, but now you know. Now I know. That's, that's the part that makes sense. Dude, I thought you were gonna fart in my face, hey, the way no, you- No, I did think about it. You backed up, there like, go. got that scheduled, the angle there. So, so what we have here is Legacy Edition number two. Hell yeah. And I can actually tell just from pouring it, it smells a lot more sharper. Can I just smell the bottle? Yeah, it's almost, well here it is. It almost has a citrusy kind of- We like, should, we should smell both, eh? But I can, I can, I can get that too. Yeah, for sure. Oh wow, yeah dude. It's definitely a difference. You smell that. Yep. If wine connoisseurs can do it, so can we. Yeah, totally, totally different. Oh yeah. Wow, man. This is almost like... Dude, that is, that is a notable difference, eh? That's good. That's good. It's definitely sharper. Definitely got a sharpness to it. I'm stoked that you got one litres of these, hey, because they, they were also quite limited. Oh, um, right. That's that one. That's all they had. At, at your local BWS? Yes. One was BWS, one's Liquor Legends, I think. And the other one was a different BWS, but they had different ones. Have you seen the, the three in a one litre? I've never seen a three in one shop full stop. you got one here, haven't you? Yeah, but different shops. Oh, yeah, but like just... Three, yeah, 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 gotcha. I've never seen the number three in one litre, no and the three come out later. So these weren't the same as what you were saying in regards to release times. No. I'm assuming they must have... Is there Still, a... once again, I like it because... No disrespect to any other Murray Bridgians, but we live in a, a country town where, like, I'm assuming there's not really many Jack Daniels, like, can we say we're connoisseurs? People probably slam Aficionados, it Aficionados, yeah, yeah. They don't, they're not going to be the sort of people going to go, oh, I'm, I'm going to spend a hundred bucks on a bottle of Jack Daniels. Yeah, and really, unless you've got the money to spare, why well, would you? Fuck the green one, mate. Get the black one, eh? We know what that's like. That's, that'd be it, hey. Green that'd much. be the... Uh... So, uh, cheers again to you all. Cheers. So we think. Because this is the ultimate test, is like with, with Coke. Because they, they can be so strong sometimes, straight, it's really difficult to get a different palatic approach. I, I typically go the straight version first and then hit this up, but... It's definitely different sharper yeah I wouldn't say it's a, like you know like for instance like the white rabbit's a bit offensive that's probably more because it's like 45 isn't it white rabbits 43 I think Are you sure yeah I think it's 43 Interesting. It's one of these 43 as well these are 43 okay. too, yeah 
Um, but it's definitely a lot sharper. It's kind of almost offensive. Not offensive, but it's not. It's not a nicer sharpness. There's a spice to this, dude. It's mm. almost got yeah, like yeah, yeah. a spicy sort of. Yeah, spicy ish. Spicy ish. That'd be to do with the oak, yeah? Like the more tannins in the oak that it's stored in. I guess so. They, they yeah. char their own barrels, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they, well, hold on. They don't char their own barrels. They use, they use different barrels from different sources. And they, don't they make charcoal. Their own barrels? No, they, they filter it through their charcoal system. Ah. Maple charcoal. Oh, shit, I saw a Charlotte Rose sticker and I thought Charlotte was back. That's what I thought, that's what I thought before, yeah. Why will people share any Charlotte Rose stickers if she's not there? It's the ghost. We the played that on the cap too. game recently. Cheers, is is Jackson's, thank you, H-Man. Cheers, dude. Played what on the cap game recently? I don't know. What, I don't, did we play something in the way on the cap game? Or uh, Territorial Pissing? It might have Have, come have up. you done a Nirvana exclusive cap? When do you do that? Uh, it hasn't happened yet, no. Wow. You've got, you got to win a themed cap game to pick the next one, yeah? That's right, yeah. So who, who's the... What's the next one? Uh, well, Rob Mack won. So whatever Rob Mack chooses. I guess he's he's into some pretty cool tunes. I guess he's going to pick something pretty rad. I'm hoping he is anyway. Oh, the Duxes. What can I see on the stream here? Look it was the, the one with the huge gap. Yes. Yeah, Hendrix. So you're saying we did play that song on the Cap game, and, oh, right. we, and wow, we actually really? listened to the Gap too. I'm, I'm a bit of a stickler for that. The only reason I didn't do that on the stream two days ago, no, a week ago, was because we had a time frame. But normally, if there's like a 30 minute Sano song, we're listening to it. And if there's a 27 minute wall of noise from the Mars Volta or Omar, Omar, Rodriguez, Omar Rodriguez Lopez, right. he's like, yeah. any time that comes up, I'm like, this could be. A minute and a half, or it could be 15 minutes. Yeah, right. And I, I like it. Like Opeth, I, or 18 minute Opeth song. Yeah, or an Opeth song. What about the decline? 18 minute, no The FX decline, song. It, no FX. One, so, one album, this is one song. Is that right? Or an EP, 18 minute song. Wow. Great song. Did they get bored? What can they see here in the shadow? It's a bit dark. We skipped over the gap. Did we really skip from, from we went, we listened to, um, I guess what you're saying, Henrik, is we listened to something in the way and then we skip forward. Right. I'm so going to change. The, you got the proper original long version on your iPad? On your iPad. Uh, no, but I, I reckon Duncan would have sent it to me. Duncan's, Duncan's the guy who would be able to... And, and, well, if anybody could resolve this, Duncan would be the guy who could, but du not even Duncan can. That's, what I'm, that's what's most concerning Wow, okay, here. yeah, yeah, he, right. He, you don't understand how much Nirvana mean, means to this guy. It's like everything and he knows everything about them right. but endless, even endless that, nameless makes sense come on people now being cut from the chant makes no sense yeah exactly there's no yeah. way to find logic we, does... we spent hours last night trying to find logic there's no logic to it the only the only reason for that in my mind is that as a, a faulty pressing yeah it's ran with it because it was done but if that was the case how come no one's mentioned did you know there's a faulty pressing of never mind hmm. that that should be the, the story because you're worth money yeah because they would have found the error, gone back to the original, yeah, and then that would have become the rare one. That's right, and that's what I'm saying. All these years since then, that each pressing never has the the full thing. It always has no. that. Even all the bootlegs and everything, because they're made in like you know Korea and. But where do I get a lot? Oh, there's a place out of Chile, and they make bootlegs, yeah. but they're immaculately perfect. Yeah, yeah. Like, or, or as per whatever they've copied. Yeah, yeah. Like the printings, the artwork. I've compared them to some of the ones I've already got. Where I've got a scratch CD, and I've just bought another copy for like eight bucks from Chile right, right. just to replace the CD yeah. and, and everything else is the same you'd be really really hard pressed to pick it the only difference is it comes in a shrink wrap cello thing with a like, yellow strip down that says you know it's whatever Santiago Chile or whatever yeah. oh yeah the, and I've seen them with the Asian font the Asian writing on the side it's like on a, the outside like a, on the outside yeah yeah and it's like a print that says something and then you see one word like Nirvana in yeah. English and the then rest. you open it up it's like the actual yeah, album yeah, yeah. weird that's how they avoid the copyright laws. Not that uh, anywhere in um, those countries really care much about copyright laws. Hendrik says correct. Okay, I, I didn't remember that, Hendrik. I don't recall doing that, but I trust you. If you say we did, we did. I believe you, man. I believe you. Let's go down a little lower here. We want to see a little more of the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little spot here too, huh? It is, man. It's cozy. No houseboats. More birds. It's a oh, dude. This, it's a mallee fowl. This says private property here. So we're on the private property already. Oh. 
Fuck that. There's no sign at the other end though, was there? Huh? I'm going to water their plants for them. <laughs> you can entertain the stream. Well, where do I do that? Just be myself. Throw rocks at Benon while he's uh, watering that dead patch over there. Enjoying this beautiful, like, uh, sunset here, which is about to start. You can see why it's private property, because it's well kept. They, they actually mow the lawns here, whereas usually that's not the case. Not that it makes a great deal of difference, because, you know, people walk around it and it's that type of grass. It's that Santa Ana low, low blade sort of cooch. It's very well appointed. There's benches and seats and little spots to go fishing and chucking yabby nets and whatever it tickles your fancy as far as like river fun's concerned. Nowhere to launch, launch a boat though, which actually kind of surprises me. I'm assuming people come here to moor their houseboats and have barbecues. There's a little box up further, which I'm interested to see what it actually is, whether it's a, like a, um, a bird watching hut. There's a lot of bird watching huts along here because there's obviously plenty of like bird life. It could be a donation or box too. Is, yeah, like... or it could be anything. It could be a bloody one of those shit drop off things for your carrot where your um, houseboat, you know, they Refuse station, oh, like yeah, refuse station. Yeah. Put your waste here. Yeah, waste station. Here they come, those mosquitoes, there they are. I'm putting on a right on cue. hoodie here. I can't believe I'm doing this in the summer, hey? It's like cold enough it's, to put a hoodie it's on. It's not warm here, it's not warm at all. Weird. But this should help, but uh, J2O. That'll definitely help. You swim down here, man? Yeah, people do, yeah. I'm not a big like fan of just swimming for the sake of swimming down here. I'd take the kids to the pool if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. But if I bring the jet ski and you know, we're out in the water, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd definitely have swum in here. Yeah, fair enough. A lot of people are really worried about the water because it's not that clear. You can't see more than sort of, you know, 100 mil into it. It's pretty murky. Yeah, and, and the bunyips. They're probably worried about the moogie womp. Moogie womp, the bunyip, yeah. yeah. Moogie womp. Moogie womp. I actually do like the Aboriginal language because of the strange usage. You know, they still use. How can I explain it? Like they still use letters and pronunciations like English. Yep. But they would have no idea. No. Nah. So even if you hear Aboriginals talking, they sound like, you know, almost like, it's like weird English words. Yeah. Whether you speak to hear an Asian speaking or, you know, or Dutch or Germans are sort of there. Yeah. Because some of the words are similar. But they're like, it's a different, it's interesting language. Yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're saying. It's like, it's like, but then again, we don't understand what they're saying, but yeah, are you saying the sound, like the sound of the word? Yeah, like if I say mulyawamp, which is like a blue wren there, a little blue wren. Tweet tweet. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No idea what I'm saying there. Really. I can't. I, I think I sort of get where you were going. I quite, didn't quite get there, but the sound of words, like some strange words. Yeah, yeah. And we use them a lot, don't we, really, in Australia? Like names of towns and stuff? Well, we say Wollongong like nothing, and that's an Aboriginal word. Yeah, exactly. A lot of those words. Wollongong sounds like a word, like Wollongong. It sounds like... They are words. They're words we know. I know what the word wool means. Coonabarra brand. Coonabarra brand. That's a strange one. Yeah. What's a Coona? Barra? We were talking brand? about this. We were talking about how Aboriginals aren't all one... Dialect. Yeah, they've got yeah. multiple dialects, yet yeah, they all, they're all they all called Aboriginal, but isn't that not accurate? It's not accurate, no. Not, not really, not, not the true sense of the word. But like I was saying before, there might be like 10 bordering tribes that use, you know, maybe, let's say for the sake of a number, like 25% common dialect. Yeah. So they can trade and yeah, yeah, know yeah. about, you know, border... Were they border. trading, were they? Well, I don't know, I'm just assuming they would trade. They obviously had common dialect for a reason, they were mm. communicating. Mm whether there are, you know... Oh, dude, we got a lot of light change here. Let me just change the, uh... We lost a lot of light there, folks. Let's go down a little here. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't even notice it. Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming there'd be some interactions of some sort, because why would they have common languages? Yeah, it's true, it's true. I'm not quite sure. I think there's, like, common words across a lot of the dialects that aren't really connected. There's a map in one of the, um community help places up here that I saw once when I was in there that shows you all the different dialect areas like the tribal sort of dialect areas there's a lot of them lots and lots of them okay and they, they were color coded for I'm assuming some sort of similarities they had like you know a, a key that said you know, these people speak this language or these people have are of this 
this jibe. I'm not yeah. sure what the words were, I didn't actually pay a lot of attention to it. I was like, that's interesting to see there's a group of, you know, you can tell Arnhem Land and you know, through the Northern Territory there were certain groups that were all similar and there was a different sort of group here. But then there'd be like a green group over here that was like 2,000 kilometres away from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'd love to get that um, map and find out what the actual story was. Because there's a lot of Aboriginal history here in Murray Bridge and um, you know, Aboriginal community, so they talk about it a lot. A lot but I, I don't know what the actual story is in that regard, but there's, there's some sort of... This, things have been mapped. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of mapping, a good question came up on a stream kind of recently, and I didn't have the answer. How did we meet? I don't know. Dude, that's what I said. Um, that's that's a, didn't I didn't I say this on the stream? I'm like I can't. It's definitely to do with music. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a gig of but what? And it wasn't Tracer because that was how we had a conversation very very early days where I played with Tracer not in the band but played gigs with them back at the Tivoli. Oh, man, the Tivoli. Yeah. In Brisbane? No, no. Here in Adelaide. There's one in Adelaide. I don't know how many years ago. Where, where's that? When well, no one just started. Um, where's the Tivoli there? I'm not sure though, the street's not my way now, street. Oh, in it's, town? It's a couple of streets back from the Crown and Anchor. Couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I know where you mean. Yeah, we, when I said, oh yeah, you said, oh, something about Tracer. I was like, yeah, so obviously you were with, or knew Tracer at that, at that point, so how, you must have met them pretty early days when you were here in Adelaide. I mean, probably 2010, 2011, so I'd already been here a bunch of years at that point, on two different occasions. Either way, the Tracer conversation come up. So we played a few shows with them, you know, they were good and they were younger. It mm. must have been a while ago. Jeez, it must but, have, well, it must have been 20 years ago I played with them. But I didn't... It was a long time ago. Before, before, we, before we did that shoot for Burn Collect, before that... I knew you for we, well before we that, knew, yeah. We, we knew each other before, because that... I'd been you, to a few photo shoots with you before that. Yeah, yeah. Because you... you, you, you you probably put the word down to the rest of the band that we want to use this guy for South, that shoot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From early days when I saw him. I didn't know anybody. Like, I didn't know anyone else in Burn Collect before, besides before you. Before that, yeah. Yeah. I think I just saw your work before. I went, this is the guy we got to use. It might have been through a show where you were shooting. We just, I probably just hit it off. I don't know. I, 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 I racked my brain when someone asked me. They said, yeah. "How do you know James?" I was like, "Well, obviously it's through music, but I just can't work out." And it's okay. not that long ago. Like, I mean. It goes back to twenty, at least twenty ten, maybe even a little earlier. I think it's a bit earlier than that. Did I? Did you guys play um, Eliza Palooza at all? No. Did you, would you have been there at? Because I know that um, Sebon Kira played there, and I shot this Northern Northern Southern Northern Sound Southern System. System. Yeah, yeah. I was NSS. there, but I didn't play it. No. Were you in another band before Burn Collect that I might have photographed? Unrest. Unrest. Yeah, I don't think you photographed us though. It'd have to be at a gig somewhere. Uh, th this, if wow. this is killing me, because I knew I couldn't I'm remember, but I was out. hoping no. I was hoping you'd remember. Yeah, I was like, now we've got to get the answer. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Know. So, all right, let's go back then. So, so the the burn collect shoot in that abandoned, abandoned house, building. Yeah. And we'd, I'd known you for at least two years at that point. At least. So go back. So what was what year was that? That would have been 20... 2010. 2010. That was the photos for 2010 yeah. BC. So we had huh, we had an album called 2010 BC. I've already said this. I've told this story. So yeah, yeah and, then, and then we had a, our second album was 2017 AD. Yeah. And I pro produced it after. We, I didn't produce it. I um, made the album happen, album happen after we recorded. The band fell apart. Yeah. I had some death. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I had some stuff happen that and passed my wife passing away or whatever. And, mm. Um, I made that album. So it was before 2010, because you took the photos for that liner. Yep. So it must have been 2009, at the very latest, maybe 2008. So I knew you for a while then. Yeah. And I'd been to your house at Henley Beach before that. Yeah. So that would have been... Well, I must have helped you do some photos before, because I remember being at a photo shoot. I'm, I'm wondering if there was a band that, that brought us together, like a, a common... A common band, it not wasn't Tracer, because I knew Tracer and I played with them, but I didn't know the boys that well at yeah. that point. Yeah, and, and neither was like at 2010. That was probably when my relationship really started with them. Yeah, because remember you were telling me you were going to go on tour. I was like, how rad's that? Yeah, yeah. I was like, how much are you getting paid? You're like, I'm just going. Yeah, that well, <laughs> that first tour they actually did pay me. Did they? The, the right. second tour and then the third tour. It's sort of different. It was different at that point, but but that. So. What I'm thinking happened, and I don't know, and I would love to work it out, but what I think, there was a band that I'd worked with that you knew, maybe a rip-it-up band. Was like, it Seb on Kira? 
I'm I'm leaning towards Seven on the Kira. roof. We definitely yeah. The, the, roof, the rooftop yeah. That was 2009 then. But that but also poetical justice we shot on that same roof. So yeah, I've been on okay. that roof twice. I wasn't that close with poeticals then. No. Not that I was ever that close to them anyway. But I knew the boys. Did at that point you you that never close. came to a house party on Jetty Road right? You don't. No, that point I'd, rem I'd remember that. Yeah yeah. So that's not that. All right. So we've eliminated that possibility. Fuck. It's hard to. It's hard to work that shit out when you when you go when like you go right it. back. Yeah. If we can work out how to use that camera last night, I'm sure we can work out how to fucking where we where we met. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh man, that kills me, hey. Because when someone asked me on the stream, they, I was explaining what I was doing in the next few days, how there won't be any streams, and I'm yeah, going okay. Ad, going Adelaide, and they were like, oh. Um, and with drums, see us. Yeah, and chat, I was like, yeah. you've seen him in the chat. Now you're going to see him in real. And then, then someone said, how do you, how did you know? Uh, Drumzilla, like, what's the connection? And I was like, well, it's through bands and his band. And then I was, then they said, but when did you meet? And I, I, I was like, I thought I was getting trolled. Hey, like, why would someone want to know that? But then I was thinking, I want to know. Yeah, I, I want to know, and I can't remember. So it definitely sounds like 2009, which is yeah. like 12 years now. Yeah. Yeah, at least 12 years. But I couldn't tell you when. I mean, is it a case of like maybe because I was shooting for Rip It Up and I was at every gig and I photographed people, I've seen, I, you, I seen you, and then maybe we tagged each other or something on Facebook, and then there was a, a gen, like a, a general sort of like, oh yeah, and you liked and you commented or something, and then it went further. I'm in a band. Well, I did and, know Lockie then, but he was. Oh, you young. knew Lockie then? He was young, like really. But I did. Young. I never met Lockie until Tracer, so that can't be that connection. No. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. See, I didn't. Or did I? Fuck, did I know? No, he, I, he didn't go on the first tours. The, there was a guy called Simon that used to do front of house at the Gov that I knew. Don't know any Simon. I took, he had issues with the, the Gov stuff and I remember having a discussion about it with him. Okay. Hendrick, no. the weather looks really nice down there. I'm sick of Brisbane humidity. I'd love oh, a, it's quite cool, Hendrick. I'd love a bit of warmth and humidity right now. I'm gonna just go around on a bit of an angel there. Like this one's gonna be a bit more of a uh, stronger mix because the coke's not going as far as I thought it would go, which I'm actually not not, not a, opposed to. Dude, yeah, I'm um, I'm uh, I don't know. I'm upset that we can't work this out. We will. It'll, It'll blue around, yeah, kitty. You can see why the um. The nature, the, the bird photographers coming, the bird watchers come down here. Oh yeah. There's so many. How many different bird life, types of bird life have we seen here? The beautiful like um, uh, Mallee flat fowl before the yeah. blue Mallee fowl. More hens, black swans, pelicans, cormorants. I remember talking about your uh, 2012 BC. It was 2010. 2010. I was like, uh, not only does it say BC, but it's burn collect, and it came out in 2010. Yes. I was like, yeah, very intriguing. And that shoot, so you... I saw some of those photos. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the cars were playing cars and the drinks and, the, and you, you set up the lights in the fire. That's right, yeah, in, we in gelled the, a red the, one yeah, in the fireplace. It really cool. Yeah, that was rad. And I don't want to get too deep into this because it's pointless, but the Haley, the connection, the connection that Haley and I had to sort of get inspired to do that was what I you know when you you know when you look at a relationship and you're like what was the best thing about that relationship aside from the nookie right forget the sex yeah, yeah. the thing that was the most bonding was like the the drive to do something cool like that yeah and I remember yeah. in that shoot we get that all the time when we're shooting we're just doing shots yeah yeah let's try this let's try that yeah yeah it's that, you know, it's and the idea was like we like we would get stoked on it and I knew that you guys would be like whoa wow That's that rad, looks cool yeah, right yeah, yeah. Even though, to be fair, that kind of tipping the table up is a bit cliched, and it might not, it might not have like. It wasn't the best shot. Yeah, I don't think it cool. got used, right? I don't no, think, no, it didn't get used. Yeah. We had the one was where Dan was looking up with the cigar, and there was the back, yeah, that's background better. With, yeah. the, with the fireplace. That's better. And there was the bets and the cigarettes and the the the, 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 the spilt, the, well, not spilt bottles, but the tipped over bottles. Yeah, and yeah. We staged it quite well. So remember all the stuff we brought there to like do the shots we'd obviously thought about it yeah yeah so for those that haven't seen it we did a photo shoot in an abandoned like a old turn of the century building yeah it was like run down like burning just just 
to, like a J Boston urban explore kind of stuff, but a, a one one house or one room house, kind of, no two rooms or whatever. And um, the so, I, the idea was that the rock stars would be playing cards at a table, and then they'd be getting so boozed up. Look how close these. I see it pretty close. Yeah, they're beautiful birds. Then they'd flip the tables up in there, and just everything would splatter and smash. And yeah, and we and I really enjoyed lighting that and putting gels and stuff, and got, I got excited by it. And but I, oh, that's what I wanted to ask you. The so the 2010 BC. Yep. Were you guys trying to emulate the Super Jesus in the in the style of photography? Not not that I was involved in it, but I've seen the artwork in that sleeve and the coloring and the Photoshop effect that you guys have applied. Yeah. Looks exactly like the early Super Jesus stuff, and I wondered. I wondered. I made a comment Maybe about it. Maybe subliminally, because I went to school with Paul Berryman, the drummer. Right. And that's how I knew that those the old guys, drummer, Travis, yeah. Travis drums now. Yeah, yeah, I know the original drummer, Paul. Yeah. Um, it's got some stories with that guy. Mm. And I used to go and see them early days when they were Hell's Kitchen, and we hung out a lot. Not that I remember paying attention to their album artwork, but it's a possibility because we're pretty close. When we get back, you, you've got like um, copies of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll, have, I'll show you what I mean. Like, I've never even thought of that before, so I wouldn't say it's conscious. Yeah. But it's definitely possible. It might have just been a case of there's an easy look at these swans. I know they're ducks. Are they ducks? They're um Indian ducks, yeah. Check this Indian out, ducks. Folks. Get this India. Indian. Oh it's too dark. It's too dark. Too dark. It's too dark, we have crack. Very obvious, isn't it? <laughs> there they go. I mean yeah, so so when I saw that, I made a comment that I thought that Either oh, no, either you'd intentionally tried to no, mimic that, that intentionally. or it was a um, that's a bit too far, or it was like a pretty common Photoshop sort of. It might have been a 2010 like that was what Photoshop was at time after. And that would be more 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 to the point. I'm actually interested to see that when we get back. Yeah. You know what would be cool if D Live had like little sections where you, okay you do a stream and if you had like something like conversation like you can go like and do a bit of a, a back back. Oh clips they've, yeah. they've got that. Yeah, yeah. they like chuck something in there you know. Oh, to add it later after yeah, that. Yeah, like that, after that stream, it's like the end of the stream, you get boom, boom, boom. There's the image the that we're talking about. notifications to say, here's an image. Yeah, There's yeah. There's so much could be done. Like, like we were saying before about like live streaming, there is so much more that could be done. Yeah. To add content, add photos on the go. Like I know links can be, can work. Yeah, totally. Add content on the go. Do you remember Photo Bucket? <laughs> photo Bucket? Add a link to Photo Bucket. Remember Photo Bucket? I do remember Photo Bucket, yeah. Yeah, it's you had like to add a... a link and you could go and check the photo out. Yeah, yeah. It's a way of like linking photos to where you only had text. Yep. Yeah. Yo, Redox Bear, right, how you yeah. doing, man? How you going, lads? Well. Doing well, Redox. How you going, man? It's actually it's quite nice. It's settled nice. I got a bit burnt today, I think. Sipping Jack, I hope. Dude, we are. Do you want to show the uh, bottle this is we've one been... It's all we're on right now. It's interesting they've gone with an older label. This is, this is very kind of... It's not really modern. No, that, 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 that's the original. That's the first one. That's the original. That's the first... Yeah, that's the first so, kind of labeling. That's the first one we have. And then this is sort of very... What, with, the, with, the, with the anchor? Is that I don't remember that. Yeah. I don't remember that. It's like rum almost. Let's let's make that so that you guys can see that. Red Ox Bearskies. Yeah, we've been tasting a few Jack. By the way, this is Drumzilla, if you didn't know uh, from Hello. the chat. And we've just been sipping the Jack and we've been comparing. We've had this one, yeah. we've had this one. We've got the third one to go next. So, yeah, what's, so what's the, what are the three stars is for? True, what are they for? Yeah. So no one the like the standard Jack bottle they talk about like the awards they've won, like three star awards. Yeah, yeah. What does it say here? Our second oh this is just talking about the actual bottling. They don't date them. So you listen oh yeah, 2018, so what's that say? There's actually That's number a, two. Where did the bottle where did that number 2018 at the bottom here? Dude, mine doesn't have it. Oh 2019. 2019. Oh. So this must be 2020 then, because like I said, I only bought it like a little ago. Yeah, 2020, there you go. Redox, Redox says, "What's up, Drum, my man? Your your name is now Drum, not Drumzilla, just Drum." Yeah, and 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 I think Redox was it you that asked me how I know Drumzilla because we, we we can't work it out. I, I couldn't work it out when you asked me if it was you that did, and I can't work it out now in front of like he, he can't work. We don't know. <laughs> we're just we're, we're, we're going to narrow it down to end of 2018, 2019. I reckon. It was definitely no, no, no. Not 2008, 2009. 2008, sorry. 2009. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, prior 2010, the photos were for that. My my gut instinct tells me it was something to do with Rip It Up, where where I was out and I would have got yes, yeah, and I've got that Rip It Up. Um, I've got a photo at home. I want to check if you took it. I've got a photo from a Rip It Up article, 
and it's actually in my jam room from about that era, 2009. From, like what, at a, at a gig that you No, were... just like, a, you know, this is Rip, this is Burn Collect and blah, blah, blah. And it's a photo of us, a weird photo. I don't know where it come from. Oh, wow. So you might have taken it at a gig somewhere. Oh shit! Did you ever do that at gigs? I take photos of bands, say this, and then report it, or did you didn't do that? Yeah, the yeah, that's that's what I did. Right, but I don't know. It might be what it's from, and it just has a bit of a, you know, we're a four-piece band from Adelaide, from this blah 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 blah, you know, the usual bullshit. And they ran a photo. Yeah, I mean, a photo. That... Outside of Enigma or somewhere. No. Wait, uh, outside it? Wait. Not not a not a live shot. No, not a live shot. It, it well, was, that wasn't it, me was, then. Was it an Enigma? No, what, you know what? I reckon it was. So remember, like when you walk up the stairs to Enigma. And you come to the stage, there's that little wall there, it was next to them, I reckon you shot it. Do you remember that? I did that. Yes. I did that. That's what it that's was. It, that's, that's what it, it was, it yes. I got it. Yeah, well, I remember like, that. We did a shot here, and you're like, yeah, and then we had a bit of a chat, and that's when I first met you, that's what it was. Holy fuck, dude. Now I remember. In that little, little bit. Yeah, because, okay, so as much as I loathe Rip It Up and what they did to me, I'll tell you that yeah, story yeah. if you want to hear about it, but that's good because they told me to go and shoot this band and I was, and oh, at that point, I was like, we shouldn't just do live photos, we should do an individual photo with the band. Yeah, Because right. any any mug can take a live shot. That's we were playing there that night, I remember that, yeah. Yeah. My approach was anyone with a camera can get a good live shot, but not everybody can get a band together mm. and get a get a nice framed image. That's what And it was. so I was always about, well, I'll go and do that, but I want to talk to the band and do something cool with them first. Yeah. And I do remember that. that There was corrugated iron halfway up the wall. That's the one. And there was a red line or something. Th there was a different sort of weird light, yeah. yeah. No, no, there was a red line, like a oh, red that? piece of timber above the corrugated, then there was yeah. just a wall. Yeah, that's what it was, ah, yeah. Yes, that's how we met. There you go. <laughs> so I'd have that photo then. And well, you... I stopped, maybe, yeah. We, I still took it out, of, it's very, very yellow, because I was out of Rip It Up from yeah, yeah. You know, well, 12 I'd, years I'd ago. Have, I'd still have the original print, oh, the really? original digital Interesting. file. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's what it was. And I remember that between that shot, we're like, oh. Like, who, what did you play? Who did you play with that night? What was the gig? Was it Oh, over reactor? I think it was Ezekiel. Ezekiel. That's yeah. He was a strange was cat. He's, he's still a strange cat. I reckon it was. Dude, now now it's coming together. You know, a few jacks in, and we're remembering all the things. Yeah, Ezekiel, wow. An over reactor show at Enigma, probably two thousand eight. Yep. We did a quick shot. You were the support band. We did yes. a quick shot beforehand. I would have photographed Not your really. set. Then I would have photographed uh, Overreactor, and then that then it would have been tagged on the Facebook. Someone would have tagged you. I think it was before Facebook. No, I've been on there since 20, 2004. It meant for me, like I think it was before I was on Facebook. If it was, it was very early days. Well, someone would have you you would have been alerted. Somehow you would have been like, that's the photographer that did that thing. And, and no, I, I remember you from that night. Yeah, well, you would have been like, that guy's cool. He maybe, would have he maybe, would have done that. He would maybe. have. <laughs> He might not have, but I, I, I made every effort with every band. Yeah, and that's the, make... that's the key, isn't it? Really, well, you can take a photo of someone, or you can you know, have do a, a job for somebody. If you actually make a connection, you were talking about this earlier on today about actually like getting repeat, repeat customers, or repeat work, or mm. repeat, you know, whatever it may be. Same yeah. with, with the live streams. You do a good live stream, you interact, and you get repeat people coming. That was that was fun. I'll come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, in anything you do, I think. Well, I recognise that. The, the idea of shooting a gig for a magazine is easy, but there is a step ahead of that that you can go. Yeah, and if, always. Yeah, and if you can push it, and you can, and if you're interested in it, and you want to do a good job, there are places you can go with it, and that's what I... Yeah, you did, yeah, definitely, obviously. I found, I found Adelaide, no, no disrespect to any other photographer in Adelaide, but no one else was trying to do that, and so I just jumped in and went, I'm going for it. Yeah. Because no one else was doing it. Mm. They were all happy just to shoot three from the pit and, and leave. And I was like, no, I want to talk to the band. I want to get involved. I want to do promo well, you're work. there anyway. You must have the most of it. Exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. Interesting. And it's those smaller gigs at Enigma where there is no pit and there's no backstage or there is a very small yeah, that little storage little, area. And you, little room. you can easily mingle with crew. And like, man, I shot Frank Turner there. And Frank he's Turner? now, he's like worldwide stage right like I heard of Frank Turner Frank Turner he has a, a solo outfit and he has his own he's an English guy and I'm oh, sorry he's, he's an American guy he's, he's big everywhere but he did um, Enigma and I was like okay. yeah just I'm just just illustrating that like those smaller uh, smaller gigs and certainly in a small town like Adelaide where bands are like sort of just becoming something mm. you can get something like you can you can make it a, a connection that then can go on to something and like I never I'm not 
I'm not trying to say that that's why Tracer and this and that happened, but I'm just saying that if you don't... I certainly would have added to it because you went above and beyond. Like you talked before about doing all these different photo shoots, and if you hadn't have done, say, that third photo shoot or fifth photo shoot where the shot was used, yeah, that wouldn't have... Nothing, not so yeah, good. yeah. That wouldn't have gone to that extra little click. So it's all about like extra clicks. Like, you know, I mean, like there might be 20 clicks to get you to a certain point. You might do one, they might do 10. Right. Uh, a promoter might do four. Yeah. A venue that you play at might be like two. You know, it's, it's all about adding to the, the hype. It's hype, hype, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Whether yeah. it's photos or written word or your music or yeah. how you carry yourself, like people that are not really that talented but carry themselves, all this hype and all these clicks of information and yeah. bullshit, but they yeah. become something because it's like, this guy's guy crazy doing something I remember looking at it thinking there's I'm already being paid by the magazine to be here not getting paid much but I did I did push the payment higher so when I started there when I started at rip it up they weren't getting paid they weren't getting paid Photog at all. photographers were not being paid wow you're doing it for, prom for promotion was it? Marianne yeah exposure 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 yeah, go and pay your rent Marianne rent. Agostinio hello Marianne if you're watching I don't think she watches I don't I think long time since we've been Facebook friends but she was she was the uh, I don't even recall her title but she was at rip it up and I approached them and they gave me a test shoot it was the breeders yeah cool the breeders uh, first the first thing to cut a long story short first gig I ever shot was gyroscope at the gov yeah gyroscope right snuck snuck my camera in argued with the bouncer he said you can't bring that in it's a DSLR it's not allowed and I was like dude Ooh. Why can't I? And I just just didn't take no for an answer. And he said, if I turn around and look that way, and if you're still there with that camera when I turn back, I'm not going to be happy. So I took that as go in with your camera. Completely. So I did. I shot gyroscope, got the photos, sent them to rip it up. They said, these are great, but we can't use them. We didn't send you there. But if you want to go to another gig, email Marianne and work it out and we'll get you a press pass. So that right, and then you the next it, gig yeah. was the breeders at Fowler's and I shot that. And then... She turned around and said to me, we really like this work. In fact, we want to get rid of the other guys we've got. And in fact, it was a girl and, a, and another guy. And we want to give you every gig and we want to pay you. And I was like, and I want to let you. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much Happy how that Happy for you that was. to happen. Yeah. And but then it was like, it was 10 bucks a shoot or 10 bucks a gig. So That's it and a press pass. Ten, well, they paid me. So every night I'd probably go to maybe three gigs so i'd earn 30 bucks a night i never paid for any of it but i was at the Thebi shooting michael frante and spearhead and then i was at the gov shooting yeah, sweet. Wh whatever the fuck whatever the next band was uh children collide Shit was happening back then too yeah? yeah 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 and then i uh did everything and and they also gave me uh work for adelaide review and that's how i got onto sa life and all these things came from that right. and then i said this is we gotta, we got to up the rates here. Like this you is, can't work for that. They've yeah. got 50 bucks or 60 bucks a shoot. So I got... Uh, no, it went Ten. up to 20. 10, shit. It went up to 20. So I was getting 20 bucks every time I shot for, for Rip It Up. And I was getting 40 for Adelaide Review. I think because they had a bigger budget. And so I, what I'd do is they would send me out to... They'd give me a list of all these bands and they'd say, Okay, on Friday night you can shoot Regurgitator at the Gov. Then you can go to... Taylor Swift at the Entertainment Centre, then you can go here. And in between that, you've got to go to the Adelaide Review and do like a bunch of social photos at the, Wherever. the Institute of Music or whatever it was. And that and those shots were like, you know, very those, yeah. with it. And then I go to a rock show and people are like, ah, and all the dudes and stuff. And it was like, I loved it, man. I went everywhere and yeah, I never sure. said no to anything. I did. I said yes to every single thing they gave me and I did it for about four years and during that time Triple M got onto it and they I don't know how there was a connection with Triple M and they suddenly suddenly I was shooting for Triple M as well and so I got on with Tyson hello Tyson if you're watching he turned out to be a dick but <laughs> yeah he got oh, on you're a dick yeah he was a big dick at the end but um, I got on with him he was the social media manager and then all of a sudden I'm shooting all these gigs for Triple M so then it turned out that Triple M are also getting in on the alternate scene and suddenly oh when they did that yeah, yeah suddenly I'm, I'm going to the big day out for Triple M and for Rip It Up magazine so I'm like okay now I'm getting paid 20 bucks from Rip It Up and I'm getting paid I think I got paid 60 bucks from Triple M per gig they had bigger budget yeah. so I'm shooting the same gig for two outlets and I had no problem with that because Easy. neither of the outlets was paying very well so I was like I'm, I'm maximising my return here of course as you would the thing I did no contracts yeah 
Well, all of it was contracted, but it was all just emailed, written. Yeah. So you're going to do this and this and that. Not like you can't, you exclusive, you can't do this. Oh, there was no exclusivity, none yeah, of that. Like, I'm freelance. Cool. But what happened was, and this is how they fired me at Rip It Up. So Triple M, of all the bands playing at the Big Day Out, they had a list of bands they wanted me to shoot because, you know, their playlist and stuff. Mm. And one of them was Grinspoon. Yes, yeah, sweet. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I, I love Grinspoon. So I shot the Grinspoon set at the Big Day Out in 2011. And I kept all the photographs separate, and I gave, I gave Rip It Up magazine a section, and I gave Triple M a selection. Total different photos. And Scotty McLennan, you're a dick too, came back to me and said, how come, how come you gave Triple M the same photos and we're publishing the same photos? And I'm like, that's not what happened. I never, I've never done that. And he's like, it's similar. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, look at the photos. And he's like, this one. And I'm like, well, that has a snare on the kit and this is a snare in the air. They're two different photos. They're two different frames. Okay, they're within a few seconds of each other, but they're two different photos. I made sure that you guys didn't get. And he's Same like, photo. he said, uh, you're, he said, you're taking a, a press pass that could have gone to another photographer uh, to the big day out and that's coveted and therefore you're fired. I was like, dude, the only you're reason... You're paying me $20. Exactly, exactly. The only reason I did that, the only reason I agreed to shoot for two publications is because you pay so little. And I got fired from it. And, and I was arguing with him saying, they're not the same photo. So the they're grounds not. of firing me is supplying the same image to both. I didn't do that. He's like, it's too late, dude, you, you're done. I was like, that sucks, man. I, I, I slaved for you guys for so long and did mm, everything you said. And that's how you repay me? And then they folded anyway. But. Yes, true. So they didn't charge for it, but it was free, wasn't it? Oh, Rip It Up was free, yeah. They went from uh, print and they went print online, then they went online only, then they folded. And there was also print Onion magazine. That's right. That's Onion, how the yeah. Hilltop Hoods and the Funk Hoods all came about, because that was yeah. a separate thing. And then that all merged together to online, and then online and digital, uh, sorry, digital and print, and then print disappeared, then digital disappeared. And I was like, you know what? It became irrelevant, sadly. Re irrelevant, yeah. Sadly, so the scene has changed. Let's find a spot that's in the yeah, last let's, of the let's sunshine, the sun, yeah, yeah. So, is anyone still watching? Cheers. Mm. You shot for Triple M? Trader. You gotta do what you gotta do, H man. <laughs> yeah, Hendrik said it's not just about repeat uh, customers, you have to connect with people for all the portraits before the shoot. Yeah, exactly. You gotta be able to. You gotta, how are you gonna get the best out of someone if you don't connect with them? It's true, it's true. You won't. Yeah, true. You definitely won't. All right, I'm gonna turn the chat off and we're gonna keep strolling, folks. It's too cold, man. What the heck? It's so cold here. I remember also another pet peeve of mine was that when Tracer was touring and I was with them at the start, I remember saying to Scotty McLennan, how come you're not helping these guys? How come you're not promoting this band? This is an Adelaide band, man. They're doing I'm, rad. Yeah, I'm with them touring. We're in Europe, hey, the, the Europeans love them. Like, England's going nuts for it. Mike just won this new award and Duff McKagan presented it to him and he didn't even mention it in, trip, in Rip It Up magazine. Like, local talent smashing the international circuit and Scotty McLennan's like, Taylor Swift. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, what's going on, man? Like, that's shit, hey? Game and he didn't, he didn't want to know. I'm like, man, I'll, I said to him, I'll supply you tour diaries, interviews with the band from the road. How good would that be? And he's like, no. Nah. From Adelaide band killing it in Europe. He just said, he, he basically said, no, nah, not you interested. You know what that tells me, that explains to me, is that's why Tracer never really bothered. Well, not that they really just never bothered, they never really made it here in South Australia versus Australia compared to overseas. So just don't promote and get into things. I've been into so many bands that are good bands, have good songs, people go, that's rad, but no one will take hold of it and go, you know what, I'm going to stick my neck out here and actually give these guys a shot and give them a, a radio interview and give them anything. We always fought hard and hell for everything. And the boys in the band are still doing the same thing. But what does it take to, what do you have to do to get that? What's the proof you need? Like you got like a thousand fans screaming at the band in London at the Arlington Academy. That's not enough? For Scotty? Scotty McLennan, you suck!
I know the name, but I never met him. I don't think Queen the Elizabeth editor rip it up, and then and, and then I remember this was funny. I was uh, in Sydney after a tour, and I saw his name in the. Um, he was a contributor for um, MX magazine, which is the free magazine they put on the trains. So when yeah, you sit on a, on a seat, you get this free publication. It's, it's god awful, and he was the, one of the contributors. Like so gone from being an editor to a contributor. For the magazine. Yeah, yeah, he's reviewing like Eve Klein Blue or something. It's like oh, I'm not reading this garbage. Hey? Reviewing toilet rolls. Basically, just shit. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, the Adelaide music scene continues on and like bands like Tracer just get lost in the wind and they disappear. Maybe Tracer would still be here had you have promoted them, Scotty. Maybe if you had have given Tracer an, a front cover of Rip It Up magazine, maybe they'd still be smashing it and they'd still have great, you know, reception, but... Well, they'd have some reception in this country. Crazy. <laughs> I like music. It's so sad, the state of music in Australia. I don't know if it's the same anywhere else in the world, if anyone else is on the stream and they know. Um, just not many gigs. Certainly not as many bands. So many bands have folded. So many venues have fallen over. No patronage from lockdowns and restrictions and limitations in general. Yeah. It's yeah. Sad state of affairs. Like It really is, is man. That, is that an end of that era? Is it, Do we live through that golden era of gigs and music and bands and live? Are you think in, you think in general, in like totally, it's gone. Well, I don't know how it's going to come back. Especially not in a minute. I'm not saying that things won't change. So hopefully they will. Maybe, possibly. Yeah. But you know, do you see a, a window at the minute? Not really. Yeah. I mean, COVID's closed that window, hasn't it? It's not made it very easy. Look That's at this. Look at this track, folks. We're walking along. That's cool, hey. Yeah. Look at that over there. Very peaceful. Oh, there's a shack over there, dude, like a little shed. A pump, a water oh, yeah. pump, the irrigation or something. So I think, see along this little river, river's edge there? Yep, we'll sit there somewhere. That, that's all the private land. I know from this way, this point, that way, is private land. That's what I was saying. So you might be able to see that, maybe not, the point that you're talking about. So not only is it like sticking out, it's up a big cliff. Are we going to go there? You can't walk away. No. This gate's not far from here anyway. So. Oh, okay. All right, so we've established how James and I met. We've also established how uh, some publications just did not get behind their own town. I mean, isn't that interesting? Like, yes, yeah, uh, I remember. I remember thinking. I remember saying, "How come we don't do front covers of local bands?" And and Scotty was like, "Well, most of the time, the advertisers supply us the images." I'm like, yeah, but well, he said, "But we do with the Hot Six, and like once. Yeah. Do you remember once a year? There was one cover once a year on on Rip It Up magazine that they'd take." And I was involved in it one year. They took six bands in Adelaide that they really thought were the bee's knees, and they took a member of each band and did a group photo shoot. And that was like, here's the hot six. These are the bands that we think are gonna smash it this year in Adelaide. And that's good, but my take on that should be, that should be once a month. Yeah, oh, it was only once a month publication, wasn't it? It was once a year. No, no, the publication was weekly or bi-weekly at the end. Oh, really? Oh, bi-weekly, yeah, right, I didn't know that. But that should be every month, there should be like, yeah. January bands, right? And then at the end of the year, it should be a festival where all those bands play together. And who's the biggest? Who's the best? Imagine if all the effort was put into it. Not from just one, one publication, but like from radio stations or like any, anyone. Yeah, well then you'd have you'd have 3D it's radio like behind anyone. it, backing it, and then you'd have like, this festival features all those bands that you guys saw throughout the year. Yeah. Nothing like that. that Nothing like that. Instead you get like, yeah, Taylor Swift's new new promotional album with her promo shot. It's like, did they can get that on Smash Hits magazine? Smash Hits. <laughs> That's gone back a while, but you know what I mean. Yeah, that was, that was what that was for. There was a reason that died in the arse too. Yeah. So what, we go back? Yeah, because I think the, the spots I was talking about was worth going to was actually must have been back. Okay. We, we come back, we come through a street before. Hang on, this says Wetlands Walking Trail. That's, that says that way. Old circuit. Yeah, that's pointing down that way. Full circuit, but that doesn't say like private property. All right. Well, James is the local. I'm, I'm just going with the flow. I do enjoy talking a lot about that, though. Like, those are, they're good conversations to have. Yeah, certainly. 
Next time you can rant though, because I just ranted for a while. Yeah, that's all right. It was interesting rant, and definitely like a poignant because that's kind of probably why the music scene, especially in South Australia, is so shit at the moment. Yeah. I'm not saying the bands aren't, but there's still heaps of good bands here. Oh, this, I'm sure they're actually. That's what I wanted to ask you. What, what are they? Like, who are the who are the rad bands? Because I've lost track. Well, the, half the boys from Burn Collect, which is Dan and Paul, are now in a band called Feed the Fire, and they work really hard, man. Feed, feed the Fire. Feed the Fire. Yeah, yeah, cool. Doing the same sort of stuff. So just you know, general hard hitting rock and roll. Yeah. That's what they know. Um, Dan, it's a damn good question. I should know that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I mean, Lockie would be the one to ask, hey, because he's out there yeah. mixing and doing all the front of house. Boys from those left behind, they're a bit heavy, but they're really rad. Yeah. Yeah, good question. So what, so, I mean, B-Side magazine's still going, right? I think so, they, well, they were. Yeah. The, the last one I actually saw them was quite a while. That's Robert Dunstan, if anybody's interested, he got... He had a, a long, long-running column in um, Rip It Up magazine called Bob's Bits, and then they fired him as well. And I think he just went, "We can do something better." So he started his own magazine. Yeah, and credit and props to him for doing that. Especially doing a hard, like a hard press magazine. It's hard these days. Yeah, yeah, fully. Getting sponsors and enough to make it actually run. Yeah. But I remember when he got fired, I was like, "That's, like, yeah, just ah." Uh, it's just the times, I suppose, but just just criminal, really. No one else is gonna. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna ramble now. Noisy little Corellas. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Galars, mate. There you go. Yeah, they're little Corellas. They're just pretty smart too. These guys. Yeah. Yeah. They're a pest. They're a native bird, but they become like plague proportions. Aren't they cockatoos? No, they're little Corellas. It's an annoying noise. Big eyes, small crest, loud as fuck. Yeah. Super destructive. I kind of love them because of that. Yeah. Yeah, they're just like noisy and they don't give a shit. They come and land on your porch and chew your fucking dog for you. <laughs> they come and uh, get the fruit from our yard. Oh, yeah. The neighbors at this big almond tree. And they just land on there in the dozens. You'll hear them tomorrow morning. They just eat them? Yeah, five in the morning as soon as the sun comes up. <laughs> you can hear them off in the distance. Noisy as shit. What they do is actually like chew the new shoots of the trees and eat them. Ah. It kills the trees off, like in general, like a lot. Huh. So they actually cull them. Which is not cool, but... Nah, but it has to be done, I guess. It has to be done, yeah. By the way, that spot we were sitting out on that peninsula, yeah. that's kind of like that camping area I was telling you about on that... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's exactly the same. They're quite common along the river. Yeah. It's like the front part of the, um, yeah, the billabongs. Billabong. A bit of sunlight coming up down here, I guess. This is probably going to be our spot somewhere down here. Yeah, our spot. Yeah, probably. It's sort of, yeah. Because that's the street we came down up there, right? No. 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 Oh, we walked a little down the street, didn't we? Yeah. But you're probably right as far as sunlight's concerned. Might yeah. get another 10, 15. Yeah. Must have another couple of jacks and Hell then. Hell yeah. Where's John? And then what I'll do is I'll wrap the stream up down here that at the last location. I'm not going to walk home, walk back with you guys in the dark. We'll just wrap it up. But if anybody has any questions, go ahead and ask in the chat. I will be looking at the chat when we get to the destination. One last chair, but actually, I think we walked past that last one. It's the only place in the sun, so... Did we walk past that one already? I reckon we did. Pretty sure we did. No, I don't think we came down here, dude. I like this, though. I'm not sure. These are noisy bastards. They, they are, aren't they? Yeah. This looks like us, though. I reckon this is our spot. Perfect here. spot to watch the sun go down. Absolutely. Here we are. I'm going to try to get higher. How can I get higher? Wow. <laughs> I said that. Now that you mention it. chair down there on the table in front of it. Oh, is there really? That? Let's hit that up. It's not quite as sunny, but I think it might be spot. Let's hit a chair with a table in front of it. Heck yeah. Good eyesight. I didn't seize it. Is 
Is that your phone doing that noise or is that mine? You know you're getting old when you hear a ding and you think, did that blast come from my Death Star? Or is that yours? Oh yeah, look at that dude, that's rad. Perfect. Magpies, dozens of them. And they're, they're galahs over there. They're pink with the white crest. Sulfur crested? No, no, they've got yellow. Sulfur, uh, obviously yellow. Oh they're, yeah. Uh, just normal galahs. Yeah, this is ours, man. They're not, they're not stupid galahs. Yeah, no, flaming galahs. Galah. No, don't do it on the, on the bench there, because uh, I'm going to use this as my tripod. Oh, hello again. Yeah. Just some tilled up, I think. Oh, here. Well, before we, before we sit down and try this jack, let's have a little peek over here. Here's the spot. Oh, here, here you go. An old shrimp trap. Oh, wow. Do you know that was there? No, I do now. Can you go up and look over here? You want it? Yeah, go. Go, go check them out. I won't, I won't, I won't come down with it. I'll okay, let's go. Cool. Check this out. It's one of those little bird watching stations I was telling you about. Oh, okay. Not that we're here to watch birds. <laughs> Not that we got much choice. God, they're noisy buggers. You know what? Last time I did a stream where we were like birds chirping like this, people were like, man, that's awesome. You and I are like, that's frustrating. They're so noisy. But yeah. people were like, no, that's cool, man. So we're going Legacy 3 here, aren't we? Legacy 3, folks. Hell yeah. I'm gonna put my chat down here. Oh, I'm gonna grab this bag. Oh wow, that's super dark. We gotta fix that exposure. Sorry about that, folks. A little dark there. It's like a dragon, hey. It's horrible. It's yeah. horrible. <laughs> I think I think it's horrible because they keep you awake at night and they wake up in the morning. Oh, I'm going to sit on that shit. Crack of dawn, 5.30 in the morning. You're out the almond tree next door. It's a big almond tree. It's probably <laughs> 25 foot tall. Yeah. You haven't seen them at the end of the driveway there? You haven't um, seen it? You haven't heard them yet? I haven't. I didn't hear them that much this morning. I haven't noticed it, to it be honest. It might be time to uh, mozzie up. Oh, yeah, mozzie yeah, up. Yeah, it's definitely like that. Look at them all. You're going to get eaten alive, dude. Oh yeah, I see him. There you go. Yeah, thanks man. So Thank just spray and rub. Mmm, tastes like Satan's asshole. <laughs> Back bitter. Yet somehow refreshing. See, now I'm wishing I brought jeans to Adelaide. But I'm also saying, it's fucking summer. Yeah, oh, I know. I've got to bring jeans to Adelaide in summer, dude. So we're going to go the... Legacy edition number three. Oh yeah. Only a 750, that's all they had. And I didn't know they did a 750 and a liter at the time. I just thought, well, then maybe the ones and twos weren't that popular, hence why I got them cheap on special. Right. And then the third one was through the drive-through at Liquor Legends. I just thought it was brand new, it was like on the, on the counter. Oh, I'll grab that. That's, that's all they had. Okay. At each shop, that's all the ones that they had. So that's Legacy three. Has anyone packed Billabong yet? No, we're oh. talking about that. Uh oh, uh, illegal! What are you talking about? We're not living in California. I mean, look at that beautiful Californian sunset over there. <laughs> Amazing. Kind of reminds me of Australia. Yeah. <laughs> I know I sound Australian, but I'm clearly from California. Clearly. Davo says, great stream to watch. Thank you, Davo. Cheers, Davo. Cheers, brother. Look at that angle we're on here, man. That's a, that's a good, uh... That's cool, hey? Yeah, it's very cool. So yeah. Oh, let me smell that, yeah. I think it smells much the I can smell as the fucking fly spray. <laughs> <laughs> Take these out of here. Oh wow. Did you go you go a little bit straight? You little, go for it. A little neat, yeah. Um What about COVID man? We do that. Oh but the how can COVID survive? But that's the least of your worries off my lips. Um I think it's sharper again. Spicy, they definitely get spicy. How, where, this, this smells a little like the first one. It does, but it tastes more spicy than the second one. I didn't try the first one straight though. Sharper. Ooh. Sharper. 
I got I got cinnamon in there. Yeah, it's like a more sp spice, but yeah, it's like um, do you know what mace is? Spice like, mace. I'm gonna spray you with it before no, no, I no. take advantage of you. No, no, not like the battle axe style mace. Mace <laughs> is like um, a type of spice. We don't see it much in here in Australia. It's an American thing. I think it's an American thing. If anyone knows, let me know. Mace. It's kind of like um, is it the same name as allspice? Like there's a thing called allspice. Not the allspice. It's like cloves, cardamom. Star and eat all multi, it's called all spice. It's just a single spice. I'm not even sure what it is. I'd like to know. I think it's a seed. Um, and it's, it's real sort of unique flavour, sort of somewhere in between it all. Okay. Hence, hence probably why they call it all spice. It's a little bit cinnamony, a little bit clovey, all a little the bit spices. All, a little bit star and eat. Man, so while you like that, it's almost a bit of a sharpness to it. Yeah, there's there's definitely there's definitely some hint of spicing Something. in there. While he does that, I want to show you guys, and I know I've just set it down, but I want to just show you this. Beautiful. I'm not gonna pick it up, I just want to show you what we're seeing here. In terms of sunset, check this out. Hence why we came here. Oh my lord, that looks absolutely fan dingly dastic. That looks rad. I, I'm just gonna get in that shot and just ruin it by saying, doesn't it look good? Like, uh, just observe and don't even have to have me in it. You got this beautiful. Check this, James. Check on the on the vision here. Oh wow, yeah, that's rad. And if I if I went in on that. It's like just this beautiful, it's not level, but who cares, but... Like sharp dappling of light. Yeah, dude. I mean, that looks cool, but you and I look better. <laughs> Why can't we just remove this chair? We'll dig it out, put it around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess what I do like about live streaming, like doing the IRLs, is that you get to see this different. Like most people would never see this. No matter where they're, even here in South Australia, probably rarely would see this. Yeah. That's not, saying, it's not saying it's super special, it's just different. That's what the, such a beautiful thing about the world in general. It's just different. Dude, I'm not better. 100% with you, hey. It's just different. This is this is so normal for most parts of... Well, Murray, this happens Murray. every night here. Riverland, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Riverland, yeah. Let's turn this around. This is actually a particularly nice, well-kept area. It's not overgrown with scrub and, you know, um, native, or not native, like wild olives and rubbish, so... Yeah, yeah. And what better place to enjoy, Jack? Legacy number three. Legacy number three. Here's yeah. yo. Woo. Yeah, it's interesting. It's somewhere in between the two, the other two, maybe. Well, you wouldn't expect this. It's definitely sharp on the palate and straight. This is more aligned with number one, but a, a certain mellowness to it that yeah. number one has. I think you're going to get more of a. A diversity of flavor straight yeah, so yeah see why you do neat you just do one neat i do, I do one neat usually on ice yeah. well, no, just just neat, 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 neat. Yeah. that's the best way of course yeah just room temperature so yeah. my grandfather used to have this thing he's a scotch man scotch whiskey yeah he'd have like the little whiskey stones mm. they go in the freezer mm -hmm. and then when he sort of was getting into it he's drinking like or if you drink a cheap whiskey for you know just to get drunk a little bit of water, but yeah, never, yeah, never, never water, ice cubes. The water, never any mixer. The never water really it. opens it up. I've, I've, yeah, 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 yeah. Makes it palatable. It's strange how that happens, but it really does open it up. It's pretty rad. I've done that before with water. Yeah, I've never done it with Jack's ever. You never shot it? Ice, of course. Like, sorry, all my vegan friends are killing the skis. They're shocking here. <laughs> we, we did expect it, and hence where we have the. Uh... Oh. Get off! <laughs> by the, made by Fark. Fark off. Yeah, it's skin tastic apparently. I don't think it really works. Maybe it's psychosomatic. You think it's gonna work? Maybe? Hopefully? I think it's working. Yeah. At least it'll smell pretty. If we go down to the pub ladder and pick up. What's that smell, that cologne you're wearing? Wow! I'm glad you asked, it's off. Made by the Fark Company, the Fark Group. Off, oh, made by Fark. Fark. <laughs> Fark, wow. All right, so we've had my little rant. What's, uh, what's on your mind? I don't really have many rants, really. I think we've talked a lot about public obedience or lack thereof. Mm. Um, I like to sort of talk about things and think about things of how to better humanity. Like I, I often pick up rubbish. You do? I encourage everyone to do that. Like if you're walking around shopping centres, well you don't see any rubbish here. So I think there's a lot of like-minded people here. Like pick up rubbish, 
try and think about helping the community. Like community spirit is something that's important. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's lacking now. I just think it's not as appreciated. I think it really should. Mm. Like I said the other day, was, yeah, the, the day before you came down, so Monday afternoon I went to the shops, a Monday morning I should say, and there's a lot of rubbish around, masks, coffee cups, yeah, yeah, and those bloody one. slushy cups with the round lids. Yeah. And I pick them up, and some people ridicule you for doing it. It's like, huh, you scab. But what, what am I going to do? Make $10 out of all this rubbish that you've dropped? Thanks. Um, I'm not collecting it to make money off it, I'm putting it in the bin. You know, it's just, we've, we've got one planet. It's, we've got one place to live, whether it be your neighbourhood. What do they say? Think globally, act locally. Do that. Think globally, act locally. Think about where we're living, what we're going to do with it, how we're going to, you know, yeah. what we're going to pass on to our children. You... I know you don't have any kids, but I want to pass just a nice place on to my children. Pass on ethics that I think are important. Right, that right. were given to me by my parents and my grandparents. Yep. Yep. No, good. Very valid. Do you think your actions are going to make a difference or you don't care about that? You're just doing it because you know that it's the right thing? I know that one drop in the ocean is not going to change the world, but if we don't all... You know, if we're all drops and we don't all make a difference, it ain't gonna rain. Ooh, that's poetic, man. Yeah, well, there you go. Do that, say that again. I consider myself what I do, one drop in the ocean, but if we're not all gonna be drops in the ocean, it ain't gonna rain. If it don't rain, the grass don't grow. You heard it here, folks. You heard yeah. it here. I mean, I, I agree with that. My take on it is, when I come somewhere like this, I would get absolutely pissed and annoyed if there was rubbish. crap laying around. Coffee cup. That, so, that's sort of acceptable somehow because it's kind of a bit that's, of, that's it's right. someone's artwork yeah. almost. But I would do the same, I'd, I'd clean, the, clean the area up and I would therefore expect no one else to, to trash it. And, yeah. And, yeah, especially people that don't live here. We, well, we're, we're still visitors here, we live yeah. around the corner. Yeah. Well, I live around the corner. Yeah. This is still, uh, you know, I, I visit this area. Yeah. So I would never leave anything behind. Mm. Maybe footprints. In that regard, like, you're not making a change to the world, but you're making a change to your town. Yeah, acting locally. Yeah. If we all do it, in our own individual sections, it'll make a difference. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Well, that sounds very kind of cliche, but... Well, I mean, if you extrapolate it, like, if you think, like, a face mask on the ground or an empty Coke can or something, mm. what's the difference between that and a, a rotting, rusting vehicle wedged into those reeds? That's litter, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, so the you person think that way, nothing, no difference. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so, but those people that throw their trash on the ground, they don't think that they're doing the same thing, but they are. They're literally... no, exactly, exactly the same. Yeah, I think a rusting car is probably going to degrade lots of no glass in it quicker than a coffee cup. Well, it's definitely going to go back to the earth. It'll rust and become nothing. Steel. Good point. Good point. Coffee cups will stay there, especially plastic stays forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. I've seen a lot of those like pages where they show you. You know, how long a cigarette bar, but vent butt lasts, how long a coffee cup lasts, obviously a glass bottle's going to last a hell of a lot longer. Right. You know, things made out of tin, tin cans will de buy, you know, de um, decompose quite quicker. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of inaccuracies in those. So people think, oh, it's only 200 years and they throw a cigarette butt. <laughs> Even though 200 years is a long time. Do you think smokers do that though? I don't I, I've, I've, I've seen that happen. They say as like, an, as 200 ex, years. As, yeah, as an ex-smoker, I'm just like, oh, one, 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 it's only that big, it's only a cigarette butt. But then if you do it ten times and he does it ten times, we all think the same. Yeah. And there's before you know it. Yeah. It's um exponential and there's thousands of them. It just looks shit too. Like. Well, you said you go to a to a park like here, and if you say if I come here now, there's twenty thousand cigarette butts because it's a public place. That's shit. Yeah. But there's not. Well, we haven't seen actually it's one a, one, one, one scarecrow rubbish here, have we? It's actually pretty pretty damn clean here. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like when you go to a place where there's like twenty, like hundred cigarettes or two hundred cigarette butts. You know that's going to be doing some damage. The mm. bird's are going to try and eat them or it's going to be just choking the environment. Maybe it does nothing. It looks shit. Yeah. Very, very least. Yeah. I agree. I agree with that. And you don't want to see it, so then why should someone in enforce it upon you by yeah, their yeah. lack of... There are always bins around, right? There's always... We've walked past... When we came in... When we came in, there was a bin at the yeah. gate. That was about it, I think. Yeah, there's, all, there's always options, is what I'm saying. Which is actually kind of ironic, because there's a lot of chairs and seats like this, they're everywhere. There's not bins everywhere, like where the places where you see rubbish, there's bins everywhere, people don't use them. Yeah, Whereas yeah. Whereas there's no, not, not no bins, but very, very limited bins here. And no rubbish. And no rubbish. Good point. There's probably no bins here because there's people like, oh, people pick up their own stuff. Just get those, just get yeah, those. yeah. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? By the way, uh, rubbish is trash for those Americans. You guys call it trash. Trash. You don't call it a rubbish bin, you call it a trash can. See, in tr here in, in Australia, we call trash people trash. It's <laughs> trash. She's trash. Yeah, that's true. Let me refresh the chat, folks, because I haven't addressed any uh, of you no, trash talkers in the chat. 
I'm surprised you still get the chat online. I guess it's a good time or anybody. Never a good time to say if you're watching outside of D Live and you're wondering what's going on and you want to comment and you are commenting and get you're on wondering. D Live, watch the yeah. D Live, watch the stream. Come on to D Live and check it out, folks. Who we got? Who we got? So we have three people watching. What's the view of? What's the point of reviewing toilet paper on toilet paper? Oh wow. Well, I saw my little comment about Keith, the universe. Keith in the house, crazy K man. How you doing, Keith? I didn't. Sorry, man. I haven't been looking at the chat so so detailed, but thank you for coming in, Keith. Uh, this is my friend Drumzilla, James Emming. Hello. We're here in Adelaide or South Australia. We're in a town called Murray Bridge. This is his local. Uh, we've got a river in front of us. We've got Jack all over us. We're having a great time here, IRL streaming to nobody because D Live is D dead. But we're enjoying ourselves anyway. Good to see you, Keith. Yeah, nice to have you, man. Uh, Keith is a global partner on DLive. He's been right, okay. a global partner for quite a while, and um, yeah, I guess it's uh, Keith's had some health issues for quite a while, but he's also been uh, pretty not. I was going to say open, but more so clear about his stance on what's happening on DLive. And right, okay, a little yeah. Bit more uh, concerned about what's going down in DLive town. Uh, I'm, I, I, what, you said, I meant what you said before. I'm really interested about. Why it hasn't progressed in the last two years? I thought it'd been huge by now. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and, a, and a different. Maybe it's because things haven't been done. They haven't promoted. They haven't expanded. They haven't had, had add-ons or nothing. Nothing's really. Nothing's really like. No. Progressed. That's why I'm I'm struggling when someone says, "Hey man, I'm thinking of live streaming. Should I stream on DLive?" I'm struggling to say, "Yeah, man, you should." Because mm. of a while ago, the, you were twelve months ago. Where we were, dude. I was two years ago. Maybe so, that's what I, I was. So stoked on it, like it's so cool. Now I just can't quite see. So what do you do? Obviously, this is this is going to be the future of the content. I don't think we're wrong in that regard. I, live streaming is definitely the future for sure. But how do we? Um, yeah, where do you do it, and yeah. how does it work? I, I I don't think this is it. I don't think D Live has it, and I don't know. There are other sites that also have it, and they're not really succeeding. So. Not for what you do, or well, not. I, said, I thought I mentioned a certain um, streaming platform before about getting live. I thought they just did gaming stuff. I thought it was all about gaming stuff. I think there's actually more to it than that. Yeah, but maybe not at the point. So where where is it? Do we, do we start our own? I mean, my personal take on it is the gaming will always be big. Like kid, kids are always going to be the ones yeah. that that they're the ones that are going to rule it because they're the future. But I also think IRL streams, like this kind of thing. I would have thought it would be yeah, great to watch. Obviously, some people appreciate it, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's my that's my take on where it goes, but how it gets there, I don't know. Mm. I, what I really loved about DLive, and this is pretty common, this is a pretty, I guess this is not really anything different, but what I loved about it was that everybody could earn something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's not the case anymore. Like now it seems very limited to who can earn on this platform. You have a lot of followers and they're great contributors and a lot of um contributors but like donators. But then but then at that point like those are the those streamers that have that are X tagged and they can't earn. Oh so when, when, the, you, when you're M tagged you can't earn either, can you? No no, that's that's not true. When you're M tagged you can still get donated to. But when you're X tagged What's X tagged then? What's the difference? Anything that's political or controversial is X taggable, which oh, okay. just seems. So you can still swear and drink, but you can and you can get monetized, but you can't if you like bring up politics. Yeah, if you start talking about Trump, then you got to X tag, and so therefore you can't monetize it. You wouldn't do that, anyway. Have you been X tagged before, or not? Oh, I've X tagged yeah. a few times. We've we've watched some documentaries that require it, like, and I'm not going to try to like dance around it. I'll just be like, fuck it. If we're gonna if we're gonna talk about so the COVID ones, yeah. Most most COVID streams I do are X tag, yeah. And I'm just like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to break the rules or bend the rules. I'll just X tag. But, but where 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 this thing goes from here? As for D Live, I I have to say that I I feel like it's gonna die. I feel like it's it's. It doesn't seem as live as what I thought it would be. Yeah. It's it, it there's there's nothing. The fact that I've gone away from it as well. I've, I've just, I was on quite regularly twelve months ago. You were yeah. And now I'm you know once a month. Well, I know once a month. Maybe once a fortnight I'll come yeah. on and when I've got a night to do it, and I'll watch you mainly. I watch a couple others, but not a lot. And just out of out of curiosity, in case you didn't hear before, I did ask uh, James who he watched because he's a he's a viewer, not a streamer. So this is the first time he's been on camera, by the way. Correct. On a live stream. Yeah, so 
I asked him what what's your take on D Live and how like where, what do you what do you do? And he's like, well, when you're not on, I often watch Chill Outdoors because of his cool IRLs. And I'm like, that's rad, man. But now you've just heard him saying, but, well, like, but he's quite ex- not I wouldn't say extreme, but he's quite out there. It's quite entertaining. Oh, no, you so, you, no, you meant Rev, Rev Jim. I met like, him with um, Chill Outdoors. He's quite entertaining. Oh yeah, okay. That, it's different. Like he's doing different things. It's like it's oh, I suppose like you can go on an adventure. Say, for instance, I was in a wheelchair and I couldn't go out and enjoy my life in that way anymore. Yeah. Or I was old or whatever it may be. But this kind of gives you, like, you know, the view to being, like, actually out there and being outdoors and actually yeah. enjoy- enjoying it. And so you I, live through him in that regard. Yeah, it's like vicariously, like I said, yeah. Yeah. So some of the things, plus he's obviously not here, he's in America, yeah? Ah, uh, Norway. Norway, is that right? So you see, like, different parts of what he's doing and different parts of the world that you probably wouldn't see, like, like with this. Yeah. And that, and that to me, that, fast, that surpasses gaming. Oh, okay. certainly, I think so. But like you said, gaming is king. Any kid in a, in a in a basement can play a game, and the people that watch it know the game. But no one else can go out on a lake in Norway and and go diving mm. like that. That and that stuff should be celebrated, and that stuff should be promoted. But I don't think D Live care for that. Yeah, right. Because of the monetization sort of thing of it, or no? Because at a, at its core, unquote unquote, D Live is a collaborative gaming platform. Uh, and that's that's the way they promote so themselves. So same as that platform I've mentioned before. So. Yeah, which is sad because you've got people that are actually really trying to promote it and and do the right thing. That's a good angle, though. Hendrik, I no longer watch anyone else but you. I can't support this platform anymore. Yeah, you were saying that Hendrik was not happy about. It. I understand that too. But Hendrik, I, I to to be fair, what's, Hendrik, yeah, what's your reasoning behind that? I, I, I can probably answer or I can start the conversation, but Hendrik, I think your reasoning is because of what happened with Shyla, and we don't actually know what happened. I don't, and she doesn't. And well, the fact that there's no resolution within a very like penultimate period of time yeah. says that they don't care. That's, that's, that's a sad extrapolation of the facts. But otherwise, it'd be like, oh, sorry, sorry, it was a mistake, or you did this, this is the reason why. That's exactly, 20, 24 that's hours. exactly right. 24 hours. Yeah, 48 hours. Exactly oh, right. it's not, like, how long's it been? Uh, six days. She's been banned without uh, any reason. Yeah, way too long. And she's not even a streamer. That's the thing. She doesn't even stream. She's a viewer, and she got banned for what? It's crazy. I know. I know, man. Yeah, but I feel you, Hendrik, and I, I I agree with you. And it's sad, but that's that's what happened, huh? Mm. Fuck. I just noticed something. It says fine old number seven. As opposed to good old? No. I'm not sure. I'll just throw it out. It says nothing, nothing. She still hasn't heard. Yeah, Hendrik. Yeah, she hasn't even heard herself. Exactly, right? Like, how? How can you be banned from a platform old with no seven. reasoning? By the way, we're going to lose the light here. I'm going to crank up the... Uh... I think I'm going to lose our warmth out This is the middle of summer here and it's freezing. I can't, I can't believe this, dude. It's freezing. It must be like... 10 degrees here. Yeah, I can't believe it, man. Ben, I was yeah, going to water that tree. Is it? I want to find out. It's not warm. I reckon it's 13. No, 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 it's 16. No, no, 15. It's 15. It's 15. I nailed it. 15. Yeah, you nailed it the third time around. Well, I had to think. I was like, no, that's a bit. You, you've gone too far. You're drunk. Okay, go a bit more realistic. 15. So it was only a top of like top of 20 today, top of 23 tomorrow, and then Saturday, 36. Oh, Saturday? We're going jet skiing Saturday. Oh, no, I think I'm going to, I'm probably going to go back down. Hang on, what, what day have I got to get the van? Tomorrow. Okay. We're going to get up early tomorrow and get the van. Okay. Um, okay. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll work it out. Not jet ski, well, I will chill outdoors jet skiing style, or? Oh, I don't think we can, but yeah. No, we can't. Well, I want to, no, we can't do it, if we can't do it live. So we're going to do Saturday? Uh, not sure. I mean, I, and by the way, Monday I fly out, not, not Sunday. That's what I thought. Yeah, Monday. What did I, I say? Like Tuesday. Did I say Tuesday? Yeah, no, I thought Monday. it was Monday. That's what I put in my phone as an organiser, so. Devo, what's happened to the summer? Dude, it is... I'm in a hoodie. It's freezing, dude. I should have brought jeans to Adelaide. I didn't. The it's sun cold. was out. It's cold, dude. It's cold. I think the fact that we're out in the sun most of the day, I've got a little bit of, little bit of setup and feel it on my forehead. Yeah, you did. My five head. My eight, I got an eight head. An eight head. Who's got the bigger eight head, folks? Me or James? Oh, de- me, definitely. <laughs> um, and that makes it whenever you get a nice sun full. Yeah. Skin full of sun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you feel the, the coolness of the evening. Usually it's a blessing because you're sunburnt. 
More than Apple Help, eh? Hey? Yeah, definitely, most definitely. I actually bought the time piece as maybe the, like a, you know, Ooh. extra time, but we'll have that at home, I reckon. Ooh, we are. One thing I will say, though, um, out of all the three we've tried this evening, they're all above old number seven, just by a marker or two. Yeah, I wouldn't I'd say agree. by much more. I'd agree with that. I, I think even it's probably in between that and gentlemen. Yeah, it's some. They're all somewhere in between. They have different like flavor profiles, but there's somewhere like there's old number seven, which is like always the same. How do they even do that? Master distillers or not, it's always you can go to like Vietnam, China. Hmm. I suppose they all ship it at the same place. Mm. But around the world, they're always very, very consistent. Right. But all these ones in between it are all a bit... It's like an EQ in between. Then you've got next level. Do you mean from each bottle or from each Legacy Edition? Well, each Legacy Edition is a bit, looks a little bit different from the next. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere above the old number seven, but they're still all somewhere below Gentleman's, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I think Gentleman's have got a bit of a consistency level above that again. As, Gen it, as it probably should, as it should. Yeah, yeah. Gentleman Jack, because it's mellowed twice, uh, here's, the, here's, right. the, here's the thing that here's I think, the thing, folks. Yeah, it's uh, turning the frogs gay. You, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> pesticides <laughs> turning the frogs gay. What well, you got here with the uh, Legacy Edition, you got a uh, Regulation Jack, but it's been uh, double mellowed. That's the thing with the um, with the gentlemen. They do it twice. They do their charcoal mellowing twice. Nice. Which, which to me says, oh, so d doing it twice is good? Oh, that's cool. Do it four times then. Why don't we get a, a triple or a quadruple mellowed? Like, what if yeah. if once is good, that gives us old number seven, and twice gives us what, what rag, I think, what gentlemen. I, what I think it would be is that each time they they, they mellow it, like a new charcoal. They can't go mellow through the same charcoal. You kind of you know. No, they do. That's what that's what gentlemen. Through the same charcoal. Same one twice. Yeah. And I'm go. thinking if that's cool, which it is, we don't we know all what that the, it is. What does the charcoal do? So they do it. I know, I know, I've watched the process. Yeah, drip yeah, through, yeah, yeah, through, yeah, yeah, through. Yeah. And, and I guess what happens is, I mean, technically, or, or like, from like an organism, like, chemical reaction uh, standpoint, I'm not a scientist, sort of, yeah. but I'm assuming, like, it's some sort of um, molecules react from exchange. the charcoal, maple, it's burnt, burning maple wood and the charcoal, and somehow there's an exchange of, like, chemical equations and crap. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I mean, we we know it works because old number seven is tits, and we know it works well if you do it twice because gentleman Jack is tits, tits. Double so tits. therefore, two tits. Yeah, do it four. Do it. Let's get four tits. And it's like going Total Recall style, three tits. Wasn't that um, wasn't that Star Wars? Total Recall. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what would it be called though if gentleman Jack is twice? It'd be like, like, like sophisticated, sophisticated Jack. Sophisticant. Sophisticanted Jack. Fisted Jack. Triple fisted Jack. Oh my god. James has the biggest 16 head. Oh, four. <laughs> Hendrix says four squared. Yeah, it's definitely big, especially the old. Uh... Elsa, how you doing, man? Three tits in Star Wars. How you doing, man? No, it's definitely. Uh... No, it's not Star Wars. Definitely Total Recall. Did I, did I get that wrong? Yes. Jesus. Sorry, yes. Elsar. I'm not a. I'm not a Trekkie. Uh, I'm not a. Um, <laughs> I'm not a Star Wars head. Hey. Mm, that's still good. That's How you doing, Elsar? Nice to see you, man. It's just you, me, and H Man. Oh no, there's six viewers. Six. 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 six all right. Well, hello, everyone else. Man, do you, you've do joined you... us towards the end here, but yeah. Hendrick, you're you're a, as regular as I am here. Do you remember when we used to get like 30 viewers in an IRL stream? What, like. You can't tell me D Live isn't dying. I'm no. at a I'm at a regular time. Why isn't slot. that the, the best thing? Why isn't that just like wow? Like rather than seeing you in the same situation every like you know every stream. Oh, there's been some good topics. Don't get me wrong. It's easy for you to bounce off topics. Yeah. This is something real. This is, this is real. Yeah, yeah. Adding the real into it, you know, like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... Different like people. It's like in between two ferns. That we're in between two half dead gum trees. <laughs> if you've seen between two ferns, it's pretty funny. Yo, Doug's in the house. Melbourne Doug. Hey, Gibbs and Gibbs. How you doing, Doug Ski? Hi, Doug. Welcome to uh, the stream from South Australia, Murray Bridge, right here on the billabong of the Murray River. Correct. Drinking the Jack, wondering about things and uh, assessing, no, finding solutions to things. Working on solutions, definitely. We, we worked out how we knew each other. That yes, was, we did. That, that was, was rad. I've got the thing at home. I'll, I'll the light, show you. It's out of my fridge for months, yeah. like years actually. I'm keen to see it too. Yeah, and then pretty, I could dig yellow. up the original as well. It's pretty, pretty yellow. 
pretty yellow, yeah. The, you got the physical print. Yeah. Uh, Elsa, I like here a fair bit, always working on stuff. Understood. Understood. I, I appreciate that, man. I love a good Tabski. Thank you, Elsa. 30? How about the 600 plus viewer host? That's true, dude. We used to get, like, oh man, that was a rad. I, okay, thank you, Hendrik, for reminding me. One time I went down to a place called, I was going to say Manana. It's not Manana. Maruya. It's on the south, it's on the south coast, further down from where I am, like okay. a good, maybe an, it's just near Bateman's Bay. Bateman's Bay, right, yeah, right, yeah, no, yeah. And, um, I'm gonna just turn this off for a sec. And when I, I went down there to pick up a camera, uh, a, a solo shot, slack track, surfing camera, and that night I found a spot, because most of, like, whenever I do this, I always look for the 4G towers. Of course. So, of yeah. course, we need to be with near, and I found one that was on, like, kind of like this, like a little estuary, and across there was the uh, Tasman Sea, and back there was the tower, mm -hmm. and I found a great, four-wheel drive track that I drove into set up and I was like sitting there and I had the table up and everything and everything was cool got a big fat host from someone it wasn't quite an 800 viewer host Hendrik but it was a big one yeah. and there was like 180 people watching wow and behind me there was lightning like way off in the over the ocean was lightning. Yes, and someone yeah. in the stream said um, I think it was Rob Mack actually he said oh dude I just checked the bomb, Bureau of Meteor Meteorology, and big storm coming your way. And it, it was like this, like this weather. And I'm like, nah, man, nah. Like chewing in the background. He's like, dude, it's on the way to where you are now. And I'm like, so ah. everyone's watching, go, let's watch him get toasted. And within a shit you not, it was like 10 minutes, everything changed. The wind just went, boom, and boom. And like clouds came over, and lightning, wow. and thunder. And I grabbed all my shit. And I got like right up against Steve Ann because that was where the wind was coming yeah, from. Yeah. I was protected like, and I had that sort of sitting on my esky yeah. and hitting like the wind was just gale force and I was getting like kind of protected. And then the, the rain started and I'm like, well, if it starts hammering, we're going to get in Steve Ann. Yeah. And Steve Ann's got crystal light roofs, which open up to the sky. Right. So I got in because it started raining. I pulled everything inside. Got in my in my bunk where I sleep, pulled all my dunas up, sat there with a jack, and it was <laughs> pissing down outside and lightning. Look at these birds. Yeah, little swallows. Oh yeah, yeah they are swallows. Which is some crazy like, I'm sorry to interrupt there. That plane water right up there too. You're not allowed to be up there, COVID. They're dropping the, the camp trails all over you, man. They're gonna turn my arse gay. It's the first star, this is the moon there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, to finish the story. You're in the yeah, yeah. the roof open. Yeah, and so the roof was open, and the lightning was blaring, like big cracks of lightning, and we were sitting in there, and it was pissing down. And that stream, I was like, this is everything I want from IRL streams. That's gold. We set up at a spot which was going to be rad, watching. and the weather changed, and it got even better. And mm. I'm in my, and I'm, I just had that at the front of my bed, wedged between two pillows, and I'm drinking a Jack. And, and, the, lightning just and the, the van rad, is like, oh, it was, that, that was hectic. It was heavy, man. It was wow. a big storm. Yesterday, was it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yesterday would have been a good IRL because we found this little lake. Lake? What was it? What was the lake called? Where we went? Yeah, um, it was a sort of strange little place, and there's always flies. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. probably several thousand, if not millions, of flies. Lake George. And uh, Bet B was watching the flies with, the, with his iPhone, just filming them. And as he's walked across one little section, it turned from like standard like dirt into like, you know, two inches thick of slimy mud and he's just going, whoa, going for a bit of a skid, trying to film flies. Yeah. It was just random when those sorts of things happen, you just, we like, on a whim, we just went, well, let's look down this track. Yeah. And it was like this strange phenomenon of all these flies, like now with all the, with all the bird life we've seen, they're just like, just, just turn it around and show them. You know what would have been- swallows flying around here, it's crazy. What would have been good if we had have been able to do it was to stay down there for the night, if we had have sort of thought about it. I mean, I know you got- Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, stuff. yeah, yeah, it would have been cool, yeah. There is. About. Look at the snakes of them. There is, yeah. I don't know. The camera won't pick that up very well. But no, they won't. We've seen a lot of bird life here. Like in the last what four hours, we've been what three hours we've been streaming. It's been just it's pretty crazy. Constant bird life. Bird life. Yeah. yeah. And Murray still hasn't packed a billabong. No, <laughs> Hendrik. That's illegal, man. It is. Not to say it won't happen. Yeah, well, it won't happen on stream. Look at all the different bird life. You've got black, co black cockatoos there. You've got pelicans. Look at the pelican fly. Swallows. We often see lots of bird life and uh, animal life down here. Oh, for sure, yeah. We're down here one day and we're skimming rocks. 
and it must have disturbed the birds, uh, the, uh, the, the, the fish at the top of the water as we were skimming the rocks. Fish were like freaking out and jumping across, uh, out of the water as the rock went across the wall. That we was actually what we were using shells, I saw some shells there, like the river mussels. Oh, yeah. And they're skimming across the water, and as we're doing it, the fish are like, oh, jumping up the water. It's a hot day. Think, they think it's food. Oh, I don't know. I think it's disturbed them. Yeah. You always see something on down. There's always something going on down here. It's a beautiful spot. It was cool when I watched the guys down here oh, probably a few months ago, and they were sailing, you know, remote control yachts. And they were flying along here. Yeah. They're not they're waiting. Sitting, they're they're sitting not right sailing. over there. They're sitting on that thing there. Actually, do you know what, man? I. Uh, no, it's another Haley related story, but I know someone that lives out here, hey, and yeah, it yeah. looks pretty similar to where we are now. This is called River Glades of Okadell. Look, look at that, look at that big pile of birds, look at that. What are they? Yeah, black ones. Ooh, sorry. They're black birds. Dark. Dark birds. Coloured birds. What's it like in Murray and its town? Beautiful? Well, da Davo, yeah. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, definitely. I think that there's beauty in every place, but there's certainly like if you look, take a bit of a look around, if you can see, if you can turn the camera around. I'll just do that right now for you. you as you the talk. The last of the like the sunset. There's beautiful, beautiful places here. That is pretty. Look at that. The Murray River, mate. Australia. Right place, right time always helps. Of course. You can kind of plan what we watch the sunset down here because we knew the sun would be setting after the mountains there. Of like, course. Over the, uh, we call them the cliffs. The cliffs of Dover. The White Cliffs of Dover. Yeah. So I think there's beauty in every place. That's what I think. It's a matter of finding it, yep. working out when and how, and going there and just seeing it. And so that's like, what I wanna, yeah. That's why I want to stream it all. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, if, if you can stream that and show people, say for instance, that I'm, we're streaming Murray Bridge and its thing. We can go to the Tail and Ben and watch the cliffs there, and there's caves and um, wildlife. And if someone else from Victoria somewhere, or Panola, or Narracourt, or Beachport, the place we are at yesterday is beautiful. It would have been a beautiful sunset over the massive jetty there. Um, you can show people all the little beautiful things at the right time. Yeah. So if people were to go somewhere, they're like, okay, I'm going to go to that place because I like this, and they'll know when to go there, what time to go there. Yeah. Share knowledge, share share the beauty of the world. Like it's There's so much to be had. There's so, so much to be had. And I don't think anybody would have done what we're doing right here, right now. I don't think no. Murray Bridge has ever been live streamed before. I would not, would not put it apart. I would be yeah. very doubtful. Can some, Hendrick, if you're watching uh, on, well, can you just go to YouTube and just check if anyone's done an IRL stream from Murray Bridge? I'd, I'd maybe at the um, ski club where it's like skiing, maybe. Oh yeah. Or but jet then, skiing. but that that would just be like someone holding their phone up, going, "Here we are," and, and it'd be twenty minutes worth or 10, 10 minutes worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be too exciting to watch that for a, mm. a long period of time. So I'm broadcasting this on YouTube and this is going to stay here forever. Murray Bridge IRL. Okay, that's going to stay there. Yeah, yeah. right. Cool. That's, so that, yeah. that's what I do. That's why I use Restream because this is great for DLive or it used to be. It's not so great anymore, but it used to be great to do it on DLive. And then you've also got it. Oh, Back it up. exists on YouTube. Yeah. So when you do your Restreams on DLive, is it from DLive or is it from somewhere else? So I, 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 you asked me that before or you, no. you kind of alluded to it, but yeah. you kind of... the. I'm not putting you down or anything, but you're, you're not getting it straight. The concept's kind of wrong because... No, no, I'm not, no. That's so, why I'm asking again. Yeah, yeah. So when I stream, it goes out from the Live You Solo. Yes. And then it goes into Restream.io. This is the yes, platform. Yes, I get that, yeah. yeah. And Restream just sends it everywhere I choose. So if they, if they capture it, it captures it. Like, obviously, YouTube captures it. Yeah. It comes a video. Yeah. Okay. And so DLive, when I do it to DLive, which is all the time, the reason is because... I still believe in it. I don't know if I'm being stupid about that, but I do still believe, and that's why I choose the chat for DLive. And, I and there is the chat, it's interesting, and that's good, yeah. Yeah, even though it might seem like it's a dead horse and I'm flogging it, but I still do yeah, believe in it. Yeah, I don't it, think so. It might be like, might be like crypto, where you're like just in the lull, and because you, you believe in it for the whole time, and it takes off, and be like, Ben, I was here before the lull of 2021. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. I mean, when, hopefully. When COVID transformed DLive into the platform that it is now, yeah. You know? you, King, King Bannon was there King. before. Sir Bannon of... King Dickhead. <laughs> Sir, Sir Bannon of Gives. That, that massive raven. Quote the raven. Or a crow. That's a raven. Is it? Pointy, pointy, it's all the way that flies. Yeah. Crows are kind of a bit... Magoo. I mean, I like what you've said then, and, and yes, a lot of me that, wants yeah. that, and a lot of me believes that, but... Because it's going to be a thing, regardless of whether it's DLive or something, live, IRL, or live streaming, it's going to be a thing. I've, saw, I've, I've yeah. said that from the start. Yeah, true. I did like it from the start, but... 
problem with with D Live at the moment is that there's just been no communication about it. Mm. If that if things are going to change and big things are happening, they need to let's do embrace it. it and do yeah. It, yeah, it's been the whole year of nothing, and like. I mean, even even just this recent comment I put in the Discord about BTT and BTT old. Tardy, yeah, that's weird. That's Tardy some... said, "Oh well, it's not going to make any difference." But that's not to say we're not, you know, things aren't going to change. So, and then there's like a question mark or something, and it's like, so are things changing? Like, oh, I don't know, dude. Yeah, it oh, but, but, seem but, to have developed heaps. I should know as a as a verified partner. I should be able to tell. I should be able to tell you what's happening. But I don't even know myself, so. And therein lies the dilemma. It does. The world keeps turning. Got no coverage down here, which is interesting. Have you not? So, oh, what is that, Optus? Oh, no, Vodafone. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, I wonder what... I didn't even see them on the tower. I mean, they got to have... So, Vodafone usually is a is like a subsidiary of Optus or something, and they've just bought a portion of their... The, the, the tower distribute distribution. Interesting, right? I post things on Facebook about all sorts of random shit. I post something that's real, like an IRL stream. Come and have a long have a look at what we're doing. Nothing. Crickets. In the way of Yusha with the follow. Hey, in the way. Thanks for following the Gives a Minute nah. D live stream. Now this makes yeah. you the latest giver right here on the channel. Huh? You want to know why this makes you a giver? Well, let me explain. You see, you're giving me your time to consume the content. And me, I'm a giver because I'm giving you my time to create the content. And so you see how we're both givers here. And this is a two-way park bench. <laughs> and you're the latest giver on the Gives a Minute D live stream. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I got off my bench, off my chair for that. Yeah, that's the best interaction we have all night. Looks like a hip hop band. Hey? I said you. <laughs> Good, I love it. Had a few interactions. People wondering what the hell it's about. Uh, Hendrix says YouTube doesn't distinguish between live streams and videos in search, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't really care about that. Like, like. I mean, so wouldn't I, YouTube embrace that? If, surely they must see if, if, if there was actual. Hey, I'll, I'll take a step back. If there was actual real validity into what we're talking about, mm. you think YouTube being the conglomerate juggernaut they are, they mm. jump on that and go, "Let's put YouTube, YouTube live." Yeah. Why haven't they done that? Good point. They have YouTube Gaming, which is Do they? The, that's their that's their live platform, right. but they're uh, angling it at the kids for the games. Because they know that's where, that's where the cash is at. Exactly. Or the, yeah. the, the viewers are at, and the, yeah. Could YouTube do a YouTube IRL? Now that would be intriguing. That would be rad. That would Why be would really do? cool, actually. If someone launched it in a way of being per pushed at just maybe just IRLs, then that would actually maybe like you know get some interest. Definitely. Mm, interesting. Watch this space, huh? Yeah. I mean, at that point, I'd be like, well, I'm broadcasting it on D Live and through Restream, and, and I'm going to YouTube in the IRL category. Maybe I should be addressing the UR, the YouTube more than than the D Live at that point. If they if they designate a category for it and like yeah. really go for it, interesting. Yeah, very 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 valid. Hendrix says uh, I found a lot of Murray Bridge content on on YouTube. You did? Yeah, okay. IRL stuff or yeah. But you can't. But he, I, I don't think you can like sort of siphon it through. Um, yeah, I streams thought, or oh, there'd be thousands of things about Murray Bridge. Yeah. There's still a lot of bird loss everywhere. One thing's for certain though, like the technology has come leaps and bounds where we are able to do this. Like, yeah, definitely. I was I'm blown away by your setup today. Yeah. Even though it didn't work to start off with. At the start, that was <laughs> like, what, you turned me off and you turned me back, now I'm not going to work. I was going to say that, but it was very cliche to say that, and eventually that's what you did anyway. So I, I know. Was kind of like, when, I, when we got back home and I was like, just stop it and start it, I was like, that can't, that can't be it though. Look at that colour. Go show them the colour. Look at this colour. Yeah, I, I, I will. Let's... Time to wrap it up. No, that it when it gets we we're, we're very close to wrapping this up, but before we do, we'll show you that. But it's beautiful, peach and pink and purples and indigos, violets, and that one star must be a planet to be that prominent at this time of night. That's the moon. No, <laughs> oh, one below it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make a wish. Um, I wish the flat Earth movement was real.
<laughs> imagine, right, imagine how good that would be just to like to have that to come out like some definitive evidence, like someone filmed from Sputnik 10, the under the underside of like um, the earth. It's like a, just a massive butt crack, yeah. massive hairy butt crack. We've done it, it's like just blew everything out of the water. Yeah, yeah. It'd be so rad. Just to, I know it's like probably a Hen crazy dream. Of Hendrick life, says turn the camera. Oh, okay, Hendrick, you told me I'll turn it. I'll turn it. You won't see it very well though, I'll turn really? it. Really? Well, he asked me to, so. Well, who am I to deny H-Man? There's the, um... The, there's the, uh, sunset happening. Murray Bridge style. It is kind of nice. We need some foreground light, but, uh... That's all you're gonna get. That's all you're gonna get. Levels, Jerry. We're level there. It's bloody getting freezing here. Dude. Dude, it's very cold. You got shorts on, you must be like... I didn't, I, I, I thought about packing jeans and I said, nah, it's summer, man. Well, I used to live in Adelaide, I know what it's like in summer, and this is not happy, it. If you're happy to roll them up four times, you can wear them up some more line. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna persist with it. Cause you, like you said, 37 tomorrow, oh, Saturday, right? Uh, no, 30 Saturday, 36 Sunday. It's changed since I just looked at it five minutes ago or 10 minutes ago. That's crazy how they do that. Yeah. And so 30... You, you can plan for something on Sunday and go, 36 degrees, I'll go jet skiing or I'll go for a swim. Beautiful, it comes like Saturday night. Ah, we are kind of joking. We meant, <laughs> what we meant was it's going to be 26. <laughs> so Sunday's the hot day. That's even better. If you go down to town Saturday, Sunday night, we go for a, Sunday afternoon, we go for a jet ski. I think B might be you know, kind of scared of jet skiing. Yeah. 285 horsepower jet ski. Yeah. It was pretty scary the first time. I took my lad on, he's like, you know how you hold on? I'm like, yeah, I'm holding on ready. And he's like, and he's like, what the? <laughs> oh, hang on for dear life. Put it this way, I had a housemate for 18 months. Took the jet ski out maybe at least 10 times. He's like, I'm not getting on that thing, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not getting on that, that thing's crazy. Because it sounds angry too, you know? It's like a supercharged Rotax. Yeah. It sounds angry. When you flatten it, if you do not hold on really like tight, you'll just take your steel go straight off the back of it. Dang. First time I rode, I was like, ooh, and then my arse did off the seat because I was, I was wet. I was like, ooh, shit, I better hang on. Uh-oh. I didn't even flatten it then. Should we, um, should we wrap this up here? We'll, we'll say ta-ta to you, you lovely yahoos. Yes, freeze that crack off for real. Yeah, it's getting cold and the sun's disappeared. And um, the idea was to come down here for the afternoon. We did that, we had one of each jack. We're gonna go back home and get warm and probably drink a little more. But yeah. as far as the stream goes, thank you for being here. Those that were here, and I we was promoting you. the DLive mostly, but I know that this is going everywhere and I appreciate those that are watching off DLive. However, if you were watching and you weren't on DLive and you were wondering why I wasn't commenting, I'm not even seeing your comments, so you gotta to come to DLive. I'm still promoting it, whether I'm doing the right or the wrong thing, I'm not too sure, but I am promoting it. James, you want to give any farewell comments to the to the? Channel? Yeah, thanks for watching it. I'm thinking about doing a uh, channel myself. Probably won't be as prolific as B, but I'm looking at different angles. We've talked about different angles over the last 12 months about doing it. I think the idea of sharing some IRL content is going to be a good thing. So you know, maybe watch this space. There you go, folks. James Emming so. so. could be streaming on D Live, maybe. I don't know. Now, will this work if I say ta-ta? By the way, thanks to the uh, financial contributions. I did see them. I didn't hear them, but I saw them. Thank you for those who donated. Yeah, for sure. That's what it's all about. Appreciate you. Uh, very kind of you. And um, I will be doing a couple more streams here from Adelaide. Not 100% certain what, what what's... Where, why, and how. Yeah, we've done... We Basically, we finished the job. So now it's kind of open to yeah. sort of do stuff. And maybe we'll do stuff tomorrow. Now, uh, who knows? Who knows? We'll work it out. One, two, three, three nights at least. Yeah, yeah. Three evenings. And the weekend, yeah. Yeah. And I gotta pick up a van for, for James, so that'll get me maybe Mobile. James maybe James might not be on the stream, but I'll I'll do something we'll work it out. But yeah. He'll definitely do something. Yeah. But cool. I, and, and then we'll do something maybe at, at the end as well from up, up here. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So I'm gonna hit this button and maybe this will roll the outro. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Thank you. Goodbye. See ya. I guess that's done that. Um I guess we can check by going to the DLive machine and verifying that the outro is rolling. Of course, to do that, we've got to refresh the app, which sucks, but that's the way it is on the DLive machine. Can I just scroll down the app to refresh it?
You can. I just don't trust yeah. it. Although this is a new version of the app, so maybe you're right. Oh, okay, that's right. I've always done that. Look at my battery, 1%. And it's on charge, and it's still sitting on 1%. I'm surprised. That's not cool, safe. and you might want to check yours, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if not, we're acting like a little bit of weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's after the stream that after the stream. It should be rolling the outro if, if that's actually working. Make sure that doors is on. Make sure that doors is on. Is he really? Ooh. You can't. Um... Hendrik says, Great to meet you, James. Have a great night, guys. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Hendrik. Refresh that. I'm on a 10 month sub streak. We had a few there towards the end, obviously. Is that, are we still on? We're it not. Must, must be because I'm on my phone and it's still streaming. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it didn't work, it didn't work. Ah, all right, well, let me refresh the, uh, the remote. Problem is the internet's saying. Okay, well. We haven't got the greatest coverage down here, everybody. I'm using one, I'm using, op, um, I'm only using um, Telstra at the moment.